<laughs> I keep forgetting it's two buttons to start this streaming stuff now. Let's start it again. And if you're wondering, that's a song called I Am Broken by my Fog Warrior project. That's playing in the background. And if you're not wondering, well, now you know anyway. <laughs> so... I am in the middle of, I'm almost finished with the Koldan uh, ring quest. I'm in the middle of, I just walked into the Tower of Frozen Shadow. And I am on the Hero's Ring, which is the second to last, I think. The other ones I, I hadn't done before, I'd started it when this expansion was out, but had not actually got very far. And so last night while I was watching Steve, I was doing some of it, and uh, yesterday before I was streaming, I did a little bit of it, and I couldn't believe how easy they were. So now it's getting to the like the last couple of steps, and they're getting a little more difficult. Like, if I wasn't mentored down, I wouldn't be able to be doing what I'm doing right now, probably. I'm level 120, mentored down to level 90, so I'm doing quite a bit of... Uh, damage there we go. so I gotta take out this person I don't know how to make it attack me I never did Tower of Frozen Shadow when this expansion came out I had never done Tower of Frozen Shadow and I just, I had to go in and do the, the, what is it, darkened hallways or whatever it's called. Oh, that's probably how I gotta do it. I gotta kill everything that spawns around it. Yoo-hoo! Um, I'm starting later than usual. I'm not that late. I'm not about half an hour late. I was gonna start around... 12, but I was talking to Dodsworth and we were talking in Discord and I didn't want to it was we were talking about private things and I didn't want to didn't want to put that out all over stream so so I was like you know I'll just wait I'll wait we'll get this we'll talk about this and we'll talk about what I got to talk about and then I'll start my stream afterwards so so not too bad um, I watched Steve's Steve Fantasy last night playing some Strong Bad. He did uh, two uh, milestones for his uh, donations tonight. He's going to be playing another game starting about 8:30. I told everybody he was starting at 8 yesterday. He actually started at 8:30, and that was my fault. I didn't. I was thinking it was going to be 8 o'clock. I didn't look at his actual schedule, and on his actual schedule, it showed 8:30. So, so that was my bad. Um, tonight he's starting at 8:30. Also, well, these guys are epics times too. Yeah, if I wasn't mentored down, I wouldn't be able to be killing these things. Um, but tonight at 8:30, he's going to be doing another game. I, I don't know if he's going to continue on with Strong Bad or if he's going to do another game. But at 10:30 Pacific time, or at, uh, 10 o'clock Pacific time, I think it is, he's going to have all his kids sitting where he's normally sitting when he streams. And then he's going to go off screen and he's going to shave his beard off for the first time in six years. And his kids are going to be sitting in front of the... Is that guy going to pop up or what? His kids are going to be sitting on the stream and then he's going to come in the room. And so you'll see the reaction of his kids where his youngest, who I think is five, has never seen his dad without a beard. And his second youngest has seen him without a beard, but was so small that she can't remember it, I think. So, it's going to be interesting. He hit 2,000 in donations this year for Extra Life for Seattle Children's Hospital. He still has today, I think, 
So if anybody else wants to donate, then you can go to Steve's page and click on the extra life button. I donated this year. I helped him hit that goal. Um, but it's for a good cause. It's for it's for children. It's for Seattle Children's Hospital. In my life, I've had to deal with uh, when I was little, my brother had valley fever, which is rare in children so rare that he was in newspapers all over the place and uh, <clears throat> he had to go down to LA Children's Hospital before and uh, my parents thanks to the Ronald McDonald house were able to have a place to stay while he they were down there and so it's something that that I think is a very worthy cause this guy's not gonna pop up as I clicked on that, it paid my mercenary salary. I thought I had looted it. <laughs> um, I was thinking today as I was doing this, I was like, you know, maybe I should do a stream, start a stream series where people who are wanting to come and play this game, EverQuest 2, I could go over things like, uh, this is this is a good way to start. This is a good way to do. Uh, like this is the a guide to the caves, a guide to you know, and just go into that zone with a character and not a mentor down character because that's gonna give you an unrealistic view of the zone. But you know, start a, a new character and put him in that zone and so what it's like to play in that zone and what the quests are like and maybe do some walkthroughs if they need it. But then I thought I don't know if I'd be any good at that. I mean, I played this game for 16 years, but I don't do the grouping thing very often. And what I'm telling people to do may not be the way to do it because it's better to group. The whole game is made to be grouped. And then over the years, it's been moving towards being able to solo with the, with like my mercenary my mercenary here some of these mercenaries are insanely overpowered and mine's a celestial mercenary which is the highest level mercenary you can get I think hey what happened he said he was Did you guys see that my mouse turned into a treasure chest which means there's something for me to uh, recover off of that But then the body disappeared, so uh, that was not a heroic class. That was a one shot that I did. Oh, I don't have my act up. Crap. I knew there was something I was forgetting. And I can honestly say, too, watching Steve last night, he's really worked on his stream setup, and he's got his his setup is so sweet now. It's he's got like. Uh, uh, he's got dissolves into other screens. He's, I mean, he's, he looks super professional now. The way he's doing it makes me feel kind of the way I have nothing on my screen. Makes me feel like I, uh, ah. that's a cool wand. I don't think I have that one yet. Uh, that's a cool blade. It looked like it would break very easily if in real life, though. I don't care about the belly shards. Yeah, so watching Steve last night, I even I think I even said it in chat. I was like, wow, I am so low budget compared to Steve now. But I just started doing this, what, two months ago, and Steve's been doing it for ten years on YouTube and on uh, on Twitch here, so... And then plus Steve, I mean, Steve is uh, is insanely good at what he does. It, and last night he was having all kinds of fun. So it's fun to watch him have fun. And then with everybody who's there, it's just awesome to see. And if you're not following Steve Fantasy, then you are missing out. Are you active now? Yeah, good. So I need to kill this person. So I can go to the rooms I need to get the stuff I need to get. Oh, 
Oh crap, are you gonna kill me? Are you gonna kill me? Are you gonna kill me? I don't know this script. Uh, what do I gotta do? Instantly healing, so... I gotta kill all the tomes around you or something? Says these targets are not alive, so what am I doing? So you can see I've never been in a zone before. you from that spot or what okay so it says as long as the words in this tome ring true I think I've already taken this tome down to dead a few times and it just keeps re we are gonna read for a second Say her name, Librarian. Amida? E M I I or E M I I T A? Pretty sad. I'm not even looking at my EQ right now. I'm <laughs> I'm looking up how to fight this person because I've killed him many times over and it's not dying. So I got to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Lethal. What level are you, Lethal? Aren't you like level 100? Level 100 Necro? Yeah. Are you working right now or can you get on? Ah! We'll have to figure out a time when you're not working and I can, I can help you. Oh, I did it! I did it without looking! Um, I can, uh, I can help you out. If you need to, I can mentor down and figure it out. Uh, epic strategy. This fight contains a lot of DPS. Clear all the trash mobs in the room. I did that. Kill Zorglum the Departed. I did that. 
fight is a bit different from the heroic version. If in this fight you will need to fight both her and the tome, you want to kill them both evenly so that when Librarian's health gets to 75, change the tome to be 75. When they're both at 25, they'll take the tome self down to 5, then kill the Librarian, and then quickly the tome. So, in other words, they heal each other. So. Okay. How much damage did I do altogether? <laughs> My pet did altogether. What is that? Da, da, da. My pet in that fight did 474 billion, 640 million, 335,225 damage. And I did 199 billion, 203 million, 803,738 damage. Wow. That my friends, is crazy. I just needed to kill this, uh, this person here to open up some floors. Yeah, I can help you out, Lethal. When, we'll have to figure out when you're not working, then we'll get together and I, I'll take you, I'll take you up there and we'll, we'll, Get rid of it. Yeah, I might be streaming on... If I'm streaming on Saturday, we can do it on Saturday. As far as I know, I'm streaming on Saturday. What is today, Thursday? Yeah, so I should be streaming Saturday, so we can do it on Saturday if you want. Yeah, we can do it. We'll do it on Saturday. I'll be streaming from noon until... Wow, why did my iTunes just get louder? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Or did I just turn it up on my headphones? Oh, I turned it up on my headphones. <laughs> yeah, I'll start uh, I'll start streaming around noon Pacific, and then I'll be on for ho who knows how long that day. So just hop on and send me a I think I have you on my friends list. Oops, wrong thing. Yeah, isn't that you right there? Yeah. Yeah, so just pop on. Uh, I'll be streaming. You can tell me in stream. You can tell me in the game. Either one. I just needed to kill this person here because I'm doing the Cold End Ring quest, right? The Cold End Ring heritage. I just needed to kill this person so I can get to the... I need to go to this place. <laughs> One of the cats is now staring at my screen. Uh, I did two and a half billion with my AE spell again. This spell here. Wunda Arcana Spiritus. Alright, so we need to go this way. I need to find some stuff. Get off of the... Getting stuck on things in the room because I'm not paying attention. Okay, so let's go down here. Um, Gore Lord was on. I don't know if he's still on. Yeah, he's on. He's on. He's in the village of Shen. He's just not on Discord yet. Either he's not on Discord or he's in the wrong chat room in Discord. There's the portrait. Um, going into first person. It's easier to fit, find stuff in first person, I think. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to play EverQuest with me, cat? Is that what you're doing? Well, I play bad enough without a cat crossing over my keyboard, so you just stay over there. No jumping for you. I said no jumping for you. Get down. Uh, 
I wonder if people would notice if it was me playing or the cat playing. Uh, return to the bookkeeper. And the bookkeeper was, whoops. Minimized the wrong thing. The bookkeeper was on the first floor. Oh, there's my brother. Uh, I don't have to be a first person anymore. Um, I gotta figure out how to get back down on the first floor. Or did she pop up here? I think she's back down on the first floor. The elevator? I don't remember where I came in at. Uh, was it over there? I think it was over there. I gotta click on that. that. That little framed thing right there. Whee! What are you up to today, Dud? Not uh, particularly all that much. First floor. So yesterday I did this zone, and uh, one of the instances, I still have problems saying that word. Thank you, Victor Borga. Um. I was in just a regular instance, the submerged caverns or whatever. And then this is the times two epic one. Speak to Dan Olin Frostweaver the seventh. Alright, let's get out of here. I think I have to, I have to go to Thurgaden, I believe it is. Not the way out, that's the way up. That's the way out. So, are you ready for tonight, Dud? To watch somebody get their beard shaved? Watch Steve scare the crap out of his children by showing up without his beard. I've seen him without a beard. He didn't have one when we were doing the band. So, I've seen him clean shaven before. All the pictures on my Facebook of us playing in Lemoore in 2004 is all from when he had no uh, facial hair. So... I'm used to seeing it, so. Well, when he sat there and said 10, I was like, oh, so this is what I'm going to be bringing to you here in it. Yeah. So it's going to be, it's going to be midnight here. I am going to be, uh, I'm going to be ringing in a new year, setting up all my bills for next month. <laughs> no, I'm doing the cold end, uh, the cold end brings the cold in what is it called it's a heritage quest cold in heroes insignia rings i had started them before and had not finished them and that's what you'll see it, my journal's kind of empty now but you can have 75 quests active in your journal and if i do them i'm mentored down i'm normally level 120 i'm mentored down right now to level 90 but you'll see I have stuff all the way from level 27, just quests that I didn't finish because I got through the zones and didn't finish the quest. So um, I was going back and taking out some of these heritages, and I couldn't believe how many friggin' signatures I still have. So I was doing signatures, <laughs> I was doing heritage, heritages, heritage quests, I guess is better. Um... Or Gaiden's over there. I, I don't know if I've done Finding the Dane. Is that the signature? Or is that just one of the long quests? Valium Coldane? Yeah, that's... Uh, you see, where's my heritages? It goes copper, gold, mithril, obsidian, platinum, silver, uh, valium, and the one I'm doing right now is for uh, 
um, the cooldown he heroes insignia, and then after the heroes insignia is a quest called casting a long shadow. Uh, which I don't know if I don't think that's part of it. I think that's just the next one. And then after that, after doing the casting a long shadow is the ring of Dane Frost Reaver the sixth, which is the last one of it. And I have to defeat an epic. Is that the? Oh, I got to do the epic thing again. So when I was talking to Michael, I was actually, when I was waiting to start the stream today, I do. Oh, it's an access quest. Oh, right there on top. Yep. I need to obtain the mirror from Valsera's Dominion. And obtain the mirror from the palindrome. And obtain the mirror from the frozen library. Multiple locations. Yep, I need to finish that one. You have all the mirrors? I haven't haven't finished it yet. Good old adornments. I just got an adornment earlier. Doesn't say what it does. It just says of extra attacks. Interesting. I remember when this expansion came out. I remember coming here. I had to have the the walkthrough up. Uh, no signatures are usually like the main class, the main quests going down through the expansion. So um, some of them are different. Like I just finished yesterday. Uh, where's that? Wait, that's heritage, isn't it? Yesterday here, uh, where was I at? I was level ninety. I just finished this one, the footsteps of Dart Dartain. I just finished that one yesterday. Um, but I have still I that's what I was saying. I didn't realize I had so many signature quests open This one is an epic one. So I know why I don't haven't finished it. This one's epic So I know why I haven't finished that one uh, This one I was doing It's in the hole. I was in sundered uh, Hold on a minute. I just got a message from the great streaming Steve fantasy Steve all right so um, yeah so these are pretty much like the main quest going through the expansion so <laughs> uh, I have this one here the Frodus one I think that has to do with my the will of Frodus I don't even know what that one is it doesn't even show the zone I think that had to do with my epic, maybe. This one, in search of Lucan, I got this, or Lucan. This one I got yesterday while I was doing, when I was doing the one for uh, Sundered Frontier, which is Painel. I had, I got that one. I got this one, in search of Lucan, Lucan, and then I also got two, two uh, 
heritage quests that I didn't, hadn't gotten before when I was there. And I finished both of those. They were, uh, where are they at? Right here. I did the Grim Blade and the Paw of Opala. What'd you say, Steve? Let me look. <laughs> I feel that way a lot, Steve. <laughs> a lot of people will do that to me here in EQ2. You just finished In Search of Lucan? Yeah, so I I did those two. I was trying to finish one's heritage, or one signature, and I ended up finding another signature and two heritage quests I hadn't done yet. So, And I still have, what, three heritage quests to do? Which is what I'm trying to finish now, and I've finished 55 heritage quests. So there's a lot I know I still have to do. A lot of heritage quests I know I still have to finish. Oops. But I, I love doing stuff like this. I love going backwards and trying to finish the stuff I hadn't before. And I'll learn them with Glassy, and then I'll use them on my other characters. But it's kind of uh, not fair to myself when I'm doing it that way, because Glassy's a little bit more powerful than all my other characters. <laughs> That's a long wait. What is that? I have... Up to Thumbria. I have finished quite a few. Whoop, did I get another... Nope, that's maxed. That's maxed. I have finished, I think, I have... The Awakened Erkin left. Uh, what am I missing? I'm missing just drop stuff on those guys. Fathom Lurker, I'm missing drop stuff. Hawksfiend, I'm just missing the claw. It's the claw! And Urzrak, I'm just missing some of the drop stuff. I could just go buy it in the broker, but people charge so much money. And then I finished 47 of them. So I'm sure there's ones I'm missing. Matter of fact, I think uh, when I was going over it with Gorelord, he had 49 finished, I think, and three of which I didn't even have, so. There's a lot of spots in this game that I have not gone to. I mean, I finished, what, 2,000? I am 16 quests from having 3,000 quests completed. And that's not counting collections. Oh, I forgot I finished that one. Um, yes, people, this is his life. Pretty much. This and music. <laughs> See, and then there's quests right there I haven't done. Yeah, I hit... Uh, I've been playing for 16 years now, and I didn't hit the 1 million... Um, the 1 million plateau uh, level until this year this year or last year and I don't have a whole lot I mean I've I have what 50 on me now I have 50,000 on me now because I sold a collectible for 80,000 and there's Dazrith and Gorelord had like 140 million on him at one point they what? answered my petition <laughs> they answered your petition what they say they said in the last 30 days I have not looted the rune and it looks like it's working as intended of course so and then, um, and then he said with all that said it's in your back backpack we gave it to you have a nice day <laughs> oh wow so well, one of the things we were talking about earlier Dazrith was doing the Akivan uh, fleshless tongue collections quest which is you have to have to finish the signature on the new expansion because you have to be able to speak Akeven. And it's one of the... I have never done a, a 
language spell where you have to do a collections quest first and then you get the language but Dawes had been out there you spent what three and a half hours the first day three and a half lives no because it was like an hour and a half before we went live and then it was another hour two hours while we were live or something trying to find the last know, rune all I know is that it got us to Chaldeum to keep him from breaking his computer yeah Well, that's some insane customer service right there. It's like one freaking little item that, like, is so meaning they should agree the freaking time sink. <laughs> well, yeah, talk about a time sink. I mean, how many hours? That's like three hours just that day. And then you spent how, how much today? Two hours? Yeah, another hour today. And you were the only one looking for it at that time, so. He's over there, okay. I love this zone, Durgaden, the the town they made in this expansion with the dwarves and everything. I love the fact you can fly through this town. That's pretty cool. But I mean, just when you just look at this place, all the work they put into this. And am I the only person in this zone right now? I am the only person in this zone. This game has so much to offer. People just get in and don't rush to the end and just play the game and get lost in all the lore and everything I don't remember that expansion being popular I liked it I soloed most of it but not I liked it <laughs> not many what'd you say you were cutting out I uh, said so just not many people got into that expansion for whatever reason they never took off I have tried on multiple occasions to get somewhat started in this and never caught on like you guys but then again you guys were so much farther ahead than I was I was like I'm never gonna catch up to them so there's a cool and it's not a mat it's not a matter of catching up it's a matter of getting in the game and finding where you're comfortable because you got Dawes and, and Gorlord who were comfortable in raiding guilds doing in-game content and then you had me, who was comfortable just running around by myself, learning stuff in the game and whatnot. So there's that one. So now I got another one to go to. What is the next one? Well, ha having Discord makes this a hell of a lot easier. Because at least, okay, while well, I'm doing this, all right, I can actually interact with my family, unlike trying to do that beforehand where you guys were predisposed with... your uh, in-game content. Well, I haven't done very much in-game content. No, but you've been doing a lot more of it here lately. Nope, I haven't done any raids. I'm not talking raids, I'm just talking in-game content. A.K.A. the higher... Whoops. Okay, it's gotta be 120 to do any of this stuff because it's the far end of the game anybody can get to it I mean you can just take a 120 potion and be where I'm at but I've just I've put in the years of running around and following the lore and all that kind of fun stuff um, that's yeah. that's what that's I was saying that's saying. that's one of the things that really bothers me is when people get in and just pop a 120 go. potion okay have a good night at work, I hope. Um, is when people get in and pop a 120 potion and go to the end game content without doing, without seeing 90% of the rest of the game. And to me, that's and just not, a waste. And not, knowing, and not really knowing how to play their character because they haven't done anything. Which is why I've never done it. Okay, I'm really still trying to learn how to play the characters I got. You want me to jump up? I, I don't want you to do anything. I want you to play it the way you want to play it, like no, you're talking. doing right now with your with your huh? um, with talking. your um. I'm what do you got, Beast Lord? Strong bed I'm talking about the company. All right, you want me to jump up all the way to the end and not know how to play my character? I know you're telling me. All right, learn it. Do like I did, go through it and learn it. That's yeah, just take your it. time, play it the way you want to. And, and to me, it's you get in the game, you play it the way you want to, which is how I'm doing it. 
and you play at your own pace. The game is made to where you're going to need to have uh, other people, theoretically, until they put the freaking mercenaries in. And uh, I'm not anything special. I, I know the stuff I know because I've played the game. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. That's it over there. I was looking at my equipped thing. I was like, how did I get something that dropped with all that? Oh, that's, that's what I already have equipped. It's not the item that was. That is a skill. That's Lord Legend. Um, but I'm. I mean, like right now, Michael and and Tommy, Bowser's and Gorlord, know more about the end game of this than I do, and they've been gone for so long because they've done more raiding. They've done, they know more scripted uh, raids and stuff because they've done it than I've done, and that's not because. Not because for any reason other than I just never went raiding. It was, it's part of the game. I was in a raiding guild once, and it was fun for a while. But then near the end, it just seemed more like a job. You had to be there at these hours, on these four days, or else you were no longer in the raiding groups. And it just felt like more of a job than it was getting on and playing the game the way I wanted to play it, which is how I play it now. So. And anytime I get on and I'm making fun of Tommy or Michael for, uh, let me make sure I, I'm trying to talk to Steve and through text and discord and okay. I did send it. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to him, do this and look up this quest I'm doing right now. Um, So now I gotta do casting a long shadow, which is in tower. Oh, so I have to redo the tower of frozen shadow again. So this is so I'm gonna stop this one here. Because to do, not the stream, I'm going to stop this quest here. Because what I got to do, I need to go into the epic version of Tower of Frozen Shadow, which I was just in. And I need to kill all the, all the people on every floor. So I'll just save that for the weekend when I'm doing it with Lethal. So there's no point in me doing it right now. So what I was saying that was, like I tell everybody who's watching who wants to be in the guild, is there's no pressure to be anywhere. Just play how you want to play it, learn the game how you want to learn it. If you need help with well, anything... One, of the, reasons, one need, of the reasons I wanted to play it was, hey, I actually get to hang out with my family, since the majority of my family plays this. But back when, before there was Discord, trying to actually interact with you guys was pretty much a non-thing because you guys were so tangled up in the quest you were doing at that point in time you didn't have free time to tech yeah and if you look back at all the time i played this game i've spent the time i spent with michael and tommy in this game out of the 16 years wouldn't even be like maybe four months because i have like i said they were in raiding guilds and i was not and in everquest one it was the same way they were in a lot of raiding guilds and I never was. And so they would be in the game. Hey, something sold for seven ninety nine. They would be off raiding. We'd be online at the same time, but I would be doing what I'm doing now, just off having fun soloing stuff, and they would be um, raiding in game content and other types of raids. Well there's no way in the world I can type as fast as Mikey does. Just takes practice. Everything well, just takes it's, practice. It's a little tough to do when your nervous system kind of goes, uh, that's that hand. No, wait, no, that's that hand. Everybody's got to deal with stuff like that. Well, not that is bad. I know. But, but I know. The, the fastest I, I ever got I'm when I was in college was once I got 32. And that was the fastest I was ever 
when I was actually typing on a regular basis. Fastest the, I ever got. Did you guys see that? I put that up yesterday. That's the the Kunark painting I got, so I put it up in the guild hall. Um, mm. I uh, the I started doing like Mavis ba Beacon teaches typing, which is not a real person, and I got. So you got to make you got to make Steve do that. Yeah. And I was doing okay, but and while I was doing it, I was doing okay. And then once I stopped doing the program, I went back to the hunting peck that I do. So, all right. That's so what Michael does. I'm not doing any more of that. He was typing like sixty to seventy a minute. Oh okay. crap! Like, I forgot to turn that. I'm doing it. I'm doing it correctly, and I can't even get. I can barely get over thirty, and you're just. Hutton and pecking, you're doing 70. You bastard. I've done it for I don't know how many years now, but that's just what I'm used to. I forgot to turn this in. It's funny when I go back to other zones and I and I'm doing something and then like yesterday I was flying over somewhere and I looked down and I was like, oh I have a quest to turn in down there. I don't know how many zones there actually are in the game now, but that's one of the things I'm always harping on is people need to experience the game the way it was when it came out. Start at the bottom and work your way up. Don't expect to be done in one night. One night? Shit. Don't, don't expect to be done in one year. Why was I? Why There's was my no... mount all of a sudden unsummoned? That's weird. Um, but I mean, There's like, like when this came out, I remember when I first popped up in this zone... Which is right over here is where you pop up. I remember when I first popped up in this zone looking up and seeing those giant dwarven statues. And I was like, holy crap, how big is this zone? And then the town I was just in that I was talking about, Sargaden, is right through those doors. And then you go over this, and what you guys didn't see, there's a public... Uh, it's not really a raid, I guess, but there's a... There's a wall right up there. There's an ice wall right there. This right here. And on... So you can see... It's not up yet. Right here on the... Every even hour... <laughs> every even hour... There is a, a raid that goes on where... Um, some... Uh, like solo mobs attack. And then some heroic mobs attack. And then some epic mobs attack. And you can go and... The, everybody can just show up there and start taking it out on so like right now where I live it's 10 minutes after 1 p.m. so they will it'll happen again in 50 minutes at 2 o'clock on an even hour it'll pop up and uh, one of the cold and ring quests I was just doing I had to I had to go through that and when I popped up it was like I think 20 after 10 so I had to wait an hour and 40 minutes so I just went off and played Stardew Valley and just started it was figured I would do it at the beginning of this the stream which I did but I hadn't started streaming because I was talking to, to Dazrith about some personal stuff so um, I need to go see this person Yeah, so Dad, don't think of it in ways of the Fortress Spire. Oh, the Hold of Rhyme. I remember that place. Um, don't think of it, Dad, like being you need to catch up or any crap like that. Just think of it as play the game and have fun and hang out in in chat. I mean, I have so many freaking characters. I just get stuck on this one because uh, this is the one I know how to play the best. Yeah. Yeah, you're used to it. And he's the most powerful, so. Until they nerf him. <laughs> and if anybody's, ever, if anybody's ever played this game before, and when they put something out, and then the next thing you know, you went from doing, like, my pet doing 140 billion in one hit to all of a sudden... Uh, not doing that anymore. That's what a nerf is. Hmm. 
so uh, I, EverQuest 1 I think is where I dealt, dealt with the most nerfed but I never had a really powerful character in EverQuest 1 I loved the game but my anxiety was just so much that I was not never any good at it because it was hard for me to get in groups of people I didn't know which is why I pretty much soloed this game and why I haven't done any raiding very much and when it did wasn't a raiding guild it was with my nephew so I was there with somebody I knew instead of just a lot of people I didn't know locate the coalescence of life in the fortress spire which is probably one of the other reasons why I never played this that much because I didn't have anybody on or played with anybody that I knew but at least with you guys on there on discord all right I can at least talk to somebody and get if I have a question have somebody that can answer yeah I've done that pretty much with uh God, I've been in here killing these people for how long now um 90 percent of the time that I'd be in here and I'd be lost and trying to figure something out instead of just getting into to world chat and stuff like that you'll notice I don't have I don't have general chat up I don't have out of character chat up. I don't have auction chat up. Only thing I got up is guild chat. That's it. I have anything that's right next to me up. The regular say stuff. Does this want me to go in I don't here? Think... I don't even have that. I just have. Ozcrow! How do you say that? I'm saying it as Ozcrow. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'll just call you Oz. Welcome to the stream, Oz. Thanks for following. You're follower 60-something. <laughs> I lost count, and I can't find it on my Twitch page, so... You're, I'm, I'm somewhere in the 60s, I think. You're old man. Yeah, well, yeah. Locate in the Fortress Spire. Is there one of these called the Fortress? Yep. Hold of Rhyme, the Fortress Spire. Let's go check it out. Yeah, so, so I've played this game a lot, 16 years now, and a lot of it's been just... <laughs> I'll be entering my 50s uh, in real life in March. I'll, be turn, I'll turn 50 in March. Physically, I'll turn 50. Mentally, I'm still 12 years old. That'll never change. You're older than I am. Mentally, I'm still around the 8, 9-year-old area. There's nothing wrong with that. If I could work my will, I would be 9 years old or 7 years old. Riding my bike in front of Grandma will. Henson's house the rest of my life. Work your will. Be buried. Boiled in their own pudding and buried with a... Steak of holly steak through, of his holly through his heart. Do you realize of all the things with that... Uh, the, the world we live in now, that when you say that, that quote from Scrooge, that the, the thing that strikes me the most is not burying somebody with a steak of holly in their heart, is that he says... Every fool who whispers, whispers Mer goes around with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled with his own pudding and buried with a steak of holly through his heart is that it makes me think it's sexist. Not that it's killing, boiling somebody and burying them. It's that he says through his heart that it's sexist. That's pretty sad. <laughs> um, well, consider, lethal, no, I have not played Seven Days to Die. I watched Steve, Steve Fantasy play it. He's he would he's been playing it. He told me I should be, because it's like a zombie version of Minecraft. So I watched him play it. Um, and you turned 51 the day before Christmas. Your birthday presents must have sucked because it was right before Christmas. <laughs> and Oz, yeah. I, I'm going to be the same way. I'm going to be gaming until I croak. What were you saying? Doug? One of the one of the YouTube channels I have is called Tasting History. It's a well, basically, he's a gay guy, but he sits there and go gets the really ancient. Oh, okay. I've seen. I think I've seen one of his things pop up because they found an old beer recipe from Egypt. I think. Uh huh. Well, he does the Christmas pudding, like what what you'd see in Scrooge. Mm -hmm. He shows how that's done, and I'm like, wow, they ate some strange shit way back when. Yeah. Well, yeah, you got to figure. I mean. Without science, imagine what we'd be eating nowadays. 
You know what you should do, Lethal? You should tell your family that they owe you all those Christmas presents or all those birthday presents, and they should just like have give you a birthday party, one a day for the next two months, <laughs> to catch up all your birthdays. My brother, my birthday is in March. <laughs> my birthday was in March, and or it was going to be in March. March. My brother here, My his goodness. his is December eighth, and then my sister's is worse because hers is December eighteenth. She's exactly one week before Christmas. So I love the fact my birthday's in March because it was far away enough from Christmas that I could actually get some presents. But my brothers and my sisters were so close to Christmas that everybody was already buying Christmas presents. So yeah, my sister, our sister is one oh. week away. Well, then do it for Christmas. yourself, Lethal. Yeah, Oz, Oz, um, Steve played Seven Days to Die. He played it with his wife, and I think I think Joey was on. Was Joey on? He plays uh, Steve. I always harp on Steve's stream. I always tell people to go watch Steve when you're rich. <laughs> this, is, this is who I'm talking about. Follow him on Twitch. He plays uh, on Friday nights. I don't think he's going to – is today – yeah, so he'll probably be playing tomorrow. Um, he plays Friday nights. He'll play Final Fantasy XIV online. And it's usually him, his wife, his oldest daughter, his cousin. Yeah, it's a family thing. Steve is – I know Steve come from – I I met him uh, years ago when I was started a programming company. And I used to go to Starbucks. And uh, he uh, – his the lady he was dating at the time worked at that Starbucks and found out I was a musician and said I should meet Steve and so I met him and he was looking for a bass player for his new project he was working on and I showed up and auditioned and got the spot and so I played in his band with him for I don't know how long it was a bit and then just Steve as a person is just such a cool guy and so cool to hang out with and then I don't know and if he's I don't think he's. I don't know if he's watching or not because I can't see who's watching. But, uh, but I view myself as lucky to have, to have met Steve. And I, the thing I remember the most about being in the band would be a Steve's voice is insane. He would do the screaming vocals part where he would never mess up his throat. And he would literally. Like the pictures I have on my Facebook of us playing in Lemoore, there was no stage. We were playing on the floor at the same level as the people. And they were all slam dancing and everything. And Steve would do the screaming vocals about a foot behind his microphone. And I asked him one day why. And he said it's because as people were slam dancing, they would hit the microphone and it would smack into his face. So he's actually played gigs where he was bleeding from his mouth. So he, would, he learned how to do it like a foot away from the microphone so he would not get hit by the microphone. But the things I always remind, the things I always think about about those days was a his voice was incredible. I'm seriously jealous. Uh, B, as soon as you would walk into the band house, you would open the door and they had a TV in a giant like uh, entertainment center surrounded by millions of games. I swear to God, on different different consoles. Steve's the kind of guy. If you've that... ever, if you've ever seen a, coll a video game collector on youtube or whatever where a guy collects video games that's steve steve was so into video gaming that not only did he have a game a uh, video game news program on youtube but he also got a job he was he was a technician who worked at chuck e cheese he was in charge of keeping the games going and all the animatronics and whatnot but then he also got a part-time job working at GameStop four hours a week just so he could get the discount when he was buying all those did games. He, so did he work? Did he work there when uh, Carrie worked there? John, I don't remember when Carrie worked there. Steve was working at GameStop back when I was in bandwidth, so. I don't know. You did, Lethal? Where do you live, Lethal? What what state do you live in? 
and I don't mean what I state cannot. has like a state of extreme poverty. I mean like what state uh, in the country. I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, that's right, New chaos. Mexico. That's right, New Mexico. Yeah, Steve started at this one here. This one was actually, I think, Showbiz Pizza first. Showbiz until it turned around and had to file for bankruptcy. And then Chuck E. Cheese then... bought them out. Yep. And so our Chuck E. Cheese had different animatronics than the regular Chuck E. Cheese. Our Chuck E. Cheese was basically Showbiz with a guy walking around in a mouse suit. What is this? This is Fallen Swords. I think it's hilarious. That's Fallen or Fallow? Fallen. There's a lot of stages in this one. I don't, I don't even know if that, if they're still actually even operating anymore. What? Showbiz or Chuck E. Cheese? Chuck E. Cheese. I don't even uh, know if that's still operating. Since I haven't been in, been to California in for <laughs> at least that part of California in forever. So yours in, in in New Mexico had a big band stage. Ours had the original showbiz had uh, had like three stages. There was the main stage and then two off to the side. And one on one side had an animatronic with a with a hand puppet. It was a full animatronic who had a hand puppet. And then there was the, the three in the middle, three or four in the middle. That was the main band, and then another one on the right. I think that popped out of an egg. Was that the one that? I think it, I can't remember the right. I only remember the left. It popped its you head. Know, it like popped its head out of a barrel or something. And so when Chuck E. Cheese took over, they had to re, they incorporated those into the Chuck E. Cheese genre of stuff, I guess. Steve could say it better, so I, I can ask him about it tonight when he's streaming. The only thing I remember is the puppet singing Secret Agent Man. Yep. And the thing about, if it's not one thing, it's your mother. I remember that. Uh-huh. Okay, so... Am I in the wrong one? What is this? Reasons and Rhyme. Okay, so I did that. Well, okay, to... The coalescence of life and the hold of rem the fortress spire. Click on the globing or Okay. I had to figure out is where Roller I was at on this. Is Roller Town still active? Yeah, Roller Town's still there. Holy crap. I has been there since the thirties, I, I think. <laughs> I was gonna say, out of all the things that actually managed oh, crap. to actually crap, crap, crap. Hang on. Hang on. It's the roller rink that's still there. The one we had here, Lethal, it was a gorilla. There was, I think, four in the middle, and one of them was a gorilla playing a piano. I did not mean to click on that. <laughs> well, hold on a second, and I'll give you... I did not mean to click myself back out of that zone. Let's go back in again! Yeah, but what I was talking about earlier, though, and I wasn't harping on you, Doug, is that... To me, this game is insanely... Oh, I forgot to follow. Oscar, I'm going to follow you back, even if you don't stream. I still follow everybody. I try to pop on when I'm on, and if somebody is streaming, then I'll go watch and help. And follow anybody who follows me, I follow back. Um, but to me, this game is... There is so much stuff in this game. So many different zones, so many stories, so many things to do that it just drives me nuts that people will get into the game to take a 120 potion and then try to figure out the game at the top level. This game was made to be a long journey with your friends and other people and meeting people along the way. And that's the way it should be played. Okay, I'm done with my soapbox. What's up? Billy Bob Bocktail, which was the bass player. Looney Bird, which was the vocal. Looney Bird, I remember Looney Bird. Mm -hmm. Billy Bob Bocktail was the bear. Yep, he was the one that played the piano. Wait, he's a bear? I thought he was yeah. a gorilla. No, that's the keyboardist. This is... There was a bear, Lethal. Yeah. Fat Geronimo, which was the gorilla. Okay, yep, that was a gorilla. Duke LaRue, who played drums. 
All right, let's not run straight out of the game, uh, straight out of the zone this time. Beach Bear, which was guitar, Mitzi Mozzarella, which was also vocals, and Rolf the Wolf and Earl Schmerl, the the hand ventrilo the, the, uh -huh. the ventriloquist dummy. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the band, the band member. Epic times four. What? Yeah, Oz, I think the problem, Oz, might be, and me being an older guy, I could probably say this like an old man, I guess, is that people are getting too are too much into the instant gratification thing. Bag sides, look at those bags. 66, 66, 66, 66, 88, 88, and then the extra harvesting bag. Um, but to me, it's just, they go too crazy with instant gratification anymore. Yeah, 66, oh, you gotta buy. Oh. I, I have, uh, since I have lifetime subscription on this one and my other account, I get the 50, 500 access, or 500 station cash every month. And so those are the adventure backpacks. They're 999 station cash, but if you're a paying member, then they only cost 800 and something. Uh, not this last, not this year, but I think it was not even last year. I think I think it was the year before. They ran a thing. They didn't tell anybody, and then all of a sudden, right before Christmas, they said, uh, "For the next week, you can buy lifetime passes for your accounts." And they were going to do it like in a very short. It was like a one-week thing, and then they then it went it came and went and my job doing traffic control i'm usually away from home when the season's going and so my wife told me about it and i found out and by the time i got home where i could sign up for it it already ended i think that's why they did it oz instant gratification for player retention wow i never thought i'd be saying those words today <laughs> but well, well I, I got home. You know, this gives you reason also to make sure everybody plays so you still have your past to actually last for a little while. Well, the thing about instant gratification, though, is like with this game, it's so much to do and so much stuff to see that instant gratification renders 90% of this game as insufficient because people just skip it. They don't go and do it. That's why I end up mentoring and going back to other zones a lot. Because I leveled past so many zones, getting to the top, that I missed a lot of stuff. So when I started my character on Kaladim, on the time lock, I put his AA experience... I put his AA experience to 80%. So 80% of all the experience I got went to AAs, so I wouldn't out-level the zone before I finished all the quests. Um, but I was saying... Can, was, you imagine somebody, can you imagine somebody in this age trying to do the original Star Wars Galaxies? Considering how much of a grind that was? Yeah, well you notice when I'm playing Oz, like you'll see I click through a lot of the the stuff to get through the, the quest. I'll just click, 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 click and not read it. Um, when I first started playing the game, I would read everything. I wanted to know. Um, but what happened when with the lifetime thing I got home and found out that they only did it for, uh, it is quite wordy, it's very wordy. Um, well, I, I got home and found out that it was only a one week thing and I had missed it. So I sent a letter to the company and I was pissed and I said, I don't think it's fair that you did this for one week with no, without telling anybody in advance because people like myself who were gone for that week and when as soon as we got home to try and do it you had finished it didn't get a chance and i played this game since it went live which actually i started two days after it went live but i played Liar. i've played this game since it went live and i feel i was cheated out of getting a chance to, to get a lifetime membership and i got an email back i still have it i don't know where it's at but i got an email back saying um, we can understand how you feel, uh, and you're not the only one that felt that way. So we're going to extend this for like another two or three weeks. We're going to offer it to everybody. 
And so I bought a lifetime subscription on this account. And then I looked at my wife with the sad puppy dog eyes and she was like, get it on your other account too. So both of my accounts have lifetime memberships. now. But if you're a paying member, then this price here, the 9.99 doesn't, uh, it's not what you're paying. You're actually gonna pay, I think it's 800 and something. See, I don't have any funds because I just bought a bunch of them. But these also have appearances. So. Which we if, all know you have to keep up. If you look, that's what they look like if I turned them on. And these are all the adventure backpacks. I have all the other ones too. They're, um. <laughs> um. That's the uh, the crystal shard one I got for doing a trade skill. I didn't buy that one. That was completing the trade skill uh, signature quest in Plane of Magic. No, that's the that's the third step of the tr trade skill quest in Myris Library. And then this one I got for pre-ordering the Thal Terrors of Thalumbria with the goblin who pokes his head out. Ah, what'd you say? Uh, Star Wars Galaxies. It was hard. There was instant grats and such, but it took a long time to get the Judy stuff. So the expander market we made it easier. Greedus what brought Star Wars Galaxies down. So either make it easy and get a larger player base, or make it hard and have a smaller player base, or more expensive. It's the way it goes. I agree. I agree, Lethal. I loved Star Wars Galaxies in the beginning. I loved. I wish they would have a game that came out that used that same mechanic, where. If you go out and you shoot stuff with a pistol, you get pistol experience. You shoot stuff with a rifle, you get rifle experience. And you get a certain amount of training points to spend. I thought that was awesome. Because your one character could do every class in the game. Not all at once, but they could be every class in the game. But then I went back and played it on one of the private servers here recently. And I, I remembered how long the grinds were. So I think they could have found a happy medium in there somewhere. And then Creature Handler was one of the best things ever. <laughs> I missed that, missed that so much. They had lifetime memberships on Lord of the Rings Online? I never played Lord of the Rings Online. I played it a touch. So what I gotta find is in the last room. Okay, so I don't think I've ever, I've never done this zone, so. I may have to, uh, I may die a few times in here, we'll see. It yes, talk, you know, Steve is, back, stuff up. Steve is a massive Final Fantasy fan. He's played since Final Fantasy 1. And when I was in the band with him, we, he was playing Final Fantasy 11 online. Okay. Kill me, get it over with. Yep. Uh, Duncan Brogan did three billion four hundred one million seven hundred thirty thousand and five damage to me. Oh no, wait, that's a damage he took. My pet did a four billion in damage and still died. my mind the anarchy online is still going i figured that would have died a long time ago well if you have people want to play it hey zax uh this is a hold of rhyme fortress spider um oscar i had a person on who was following me when i first started named two cats yelling who was a massive uh i gotta resummon all my stuff oh my pet lived that was good he was a massive um elder scrolls online fan he loved elder scrolls online he hated final fantasy 14 not because of the game itself but because of the way that the creator denied a lot of 
regular online gaming stuff. And he would say they couldn't implement a lot of stuff because uh, a mythical bow? I never saw that before. Because it's mythical. That's pretty cool. Um, T was always harping on Final Fantasy XIV because the game it could be and how the the guy who made it the guy in charge of it would say these things were not available we can't put these things in and uh, whoop I did that last time that's how you run out you gotta go through this door and so he was always harping on how much he hated the game because the guy who designed it oh awesome thank you so much um, the guy who designed it uh, was not put the stuff in and then he would give these examples of why they weren't putting stuff in which were like crappy answers uh, Dig Dug, do I think they'll make an EQ3? I think they'll consider it um, hopefully it's in, consider it's in consideration right now hopefully they won't do it like they were going to do EverQuest Next because the video I saw of EverQuest Next was was uh stupid no the best way i can put it is that the figures that they had that i mean it was still in development but the figures that were in that to me looked like fisher price toys they didn't i mean this character i think i look pretty cool yeah, i got i got my plague yeah, mask on cartoon. but yeah eq next the characters that they showed looked like the only way I can describe it is Fisher Price toys. They looked like it looked like it was really dumbed down. The graphics were really dumbed down enough to where it looked like it was a preschool kind of game kind of thing. And I didn't like that. I was like, oh, I don't I don't like this. The fact that they were saying it was going to be for consoles. I could understand why they would do that, but I didn't want to play it if it was going to be consoles only. Um, I did play Landmark when it was out in beta, and my computer I had at the time could hardly run it. So I would love to see an EQ3. I would love to see an EQ3 that's like uh, EQ1 or EQ2 with updated engine, updated graphics, um, but not... See, the way I view online gaming, when somebody comes to me and says they want to start online gaming, in role-playing MMORPGs I tell them well if you've never played before the way I view them is like a school setup where World of Warcraft would be your elementary school because it's such an easy game to play I've played it for like maybe four months over the years and I can't play it it's too way too easy I, it frustrates the hell out of me because I get get so bored Pantheon will be yeah um, I have my nephew is waiting for Pantheon to come out. Um, I say WoW is like grammar school. EQ2 would be like high school because it's a lot more difficult to play than WoW. And EQ1 would be like college because EQ1 makes <coughs> excuse me makes EQ2 look like grammar school. <laughs> EQ1 is a true MMO because once you hit level 18 or 20, you have to be with somebody else even before that even play. before that well with the way they've got it set up right now at least with my characters i can get to 20. once i get to 20 i can't do shit. <coughs> i've never played eve online i i i have played oh, i tried that once and I, uh -uh. I started playing my my online gaming experience started with everquest one I read and uh, I'm old enough now that I was alive when it came out. Um, I I read a magazine a magazine uh, article about EverQuest coming out. EverQuest one coming out wasn't out yet, and it was going to be the first true 3D online playing game. And so I was thought, you know, I'm going to check that out. And so I did. I started online games with EverQuest one. The only other game that was online at the time that was like it was 
Uh... Oh crap, I just forgot the name. It was one Jeff was playing, dude. Um, Ultima Online. Oh, I was gonna say, crap, you had to say Jeff, so you said that? I lost it. It's Ultima Online, and it was more like Diablo, it was a looking down kind of thing. And, top down. Yeah, a top down scroller, and I had, I, between the two, I had seen the pictures of EverQuest, and I thought they were insane for the time. And I had read about how on Ultima Online, new players could get, it was instant PvP, and higher levels could take you out so VR and they camp EQ2 and VR would be nuts but I went I started EverQuest 1 uh, I went to Anarchy Online I went to uh, Star Wars Galaxies I even at one point went to Detroit Motor City which I don't know anything about cars so that was horrific uh, I went to WoW I went to Dark Age of Camelot, which I liked some stuff about. Um, and then I came to EQ2. And then from EQ2, I really didn't go to many other places. So there's a lot of online games that I have not played. Like I never played War. I never played uh, Lord of the Rings Online. I never played Guilds. I never played uh, Conan. I, I actually have Conan. I just got that this year. But I didn't really Path like of, playing it. Path of Exile. I would love for Camelot Unchanged to come out. Star Wars Galaxy. See, if I could make my own game, which I tried to in the past, but... Star that, Wars Galaxy That company failed it. Ser- Star Wars Galaxy has private servers. Only problem is, these private servers are about... The highest I've seen any of them, which this was the new game engine, which made it like, wow, was like 1,500 people on the server at one time. So some of the mechanics that you needed in Star Wars Galaxies, like going to a dancer to heal whatever that you had, you couldn't find any dancers. So once you got... uh, injured and you had to go to a medic or a dancer there were none there because I tried on all three private servers the original the combat upgrade and the new game engine and all three of them barely have over a thousand people on at one time so trying to play is pointless because half of what you need, you can't find. Dancers, medics, stuff like that. There aren't any. Okay, John, go ahead. Crap, I can't get there. We go. I was answering Lethal's uh, thing on they should bring back Star Wars Galaxies. And I'm like, well, they've got the private servers, but they don't have the subscriber count to make it worth it. Oh, I didn't realize that. What'd you do, Ray? I thought I had to kill these guys to start this zone, but I don't. I can just go around them. Duh. Stan. Um, so, uh, what's I saying? Um, if I could make my own game, I would have a training setup like Star Wars Galaxies, where... Um, Ripted Chinese, and I think, um... Two Cats was saying that uh, Elder Scrolls Online also has collectibles, but they're not shinies. They're, they're collectibles. Rift. Um, that's what Oz Rift said. Has R- um, yeah. Oz said Rifted. Um, yeah, I'd say. Um, if I could make my own game, it would have the, the training setup of Star Wars Galaxies, where if you used a pistol you would get pistol experience if you used a rifle you would get rifle experience if you did hand to hand you would get hand to hand experience if you did uh... if you wanted to skip being a damaged person all all together you could be a crafter yep and or entertainer stuff like that you would get experience in what you were doing and you weren't locked into just one profession 
you could your one character could do all the different professions just not all at once you could you would get experience you would level up in that i would make it where there was a lot more tiers than there was in, in star wars galaxies because there was a lot of grinding before you would get to the next step in, in star wars galaxies i would make it where there were much more yeah where you could combine classes and skills there was much more there would be much more steps to take to go up it but then you could sell it back how many do uh, you sub to one character at a time I never got to be in a base takedown, Lethal. I left before. I never grouped with a... I never got into, a, like, a guild in the Star Wars Galaxies. I left before I ever got that far. Um, I love Creature Handler, though. I would... Any game I would have, I would put in Creature Handler. How many MMOs do you sub to at one one time? Oh, me! How many do, How many did I have at one time? Uh, I only did one. I just bounced around from one to the other. Yeah, Guild Wars 1 and 2. I never played Guild Wars 1 and True. Um, at I one time, two. I had... I was subscribed to EverQuest 1, Dark Age of Camelot, um, Star Wars Galaxies, I think, and Anarchy Online. I think I had four at once, was the most I had subscribed to. But that's when I was a manager at Walmart. Um, and was pulling in the big bucks. I, well, it wasn't big bucks, trust me. I was... If you took how many hours I worked at that job and how much I got paid, I was making like a dollar an hour. Um, but at the time, I was making, I was a manager for Walmart, and I was making okay money for the time. But at my living situation, I had moved in with my grandmother to help with my terminally ill grandfather. And when he passed away, she would not let me pay rent. <laughs> she had... Every time I would try to help with something, like when she bought the air conditioner or she sodded the yard, I would be like, so do you want me to pay for half? And she would be like, no, no, I can do this. Let me do this. So I had a lot of accounts going. You had six accounts of just EQ2, Dick Duck? I have two accounts. Oh, that's another one I played. I played City of Heroes for a bit. I played Matrix Online for a bit. I liked that game. Assyrian's Call. Did you play that one? Or Asheron's Call? Gorlord just, Gorlord just sent me a tell in the game saying he'll be on in an hour or so. Asheron's Call? I don't remember Asheron's Call. It's familiar. Is that the one I was... Ashran's... I thought Vanguard. I thought no, it could have been Ashran's call. Take that back. I think Ashran's call was the one I might have beta tested, and I was. I was. Uh, my computer couldn't handle it. I just went back recently to go play Matrix Online. Again, I was like, you know what? I haven't played this in a while. I'm gonna go play Matrix Online. It's not there anymore. It's gone. Nope, it's dead. Wild Star, which also died. Age of Empires Online. Died. Oz, are you Oz? Are you talking about Neverwinter, like the the one that's on now? Neverwinter, the online game, or Neverwinter Nights? Tabula Rasa. That sounds familiar. Um, Neverwinter, that's on online right. Uh, Neverwinter, the online game right now. My wife plays that one. She is she is insanely uber at that game. <laughs> She can go and solo anything in that game. Yeah, I played it on the computer with my nephew years ago. And we played it for a while. But my wife plays Neverwinter Online. My wife just started Bless Unleashed 2 because she was looking for a game that we could all play together. I never played Planetside. I never played EVE Online. I played Star Trek Online. Uh, never played Warframe. I played Star Trek Online for a while. I loved the fact that you could make uh, your own alien race. I loved that. Holy, holy crap. Oh, another one I played online that I haven't played in forever was... Uh, I played the free tank game that... that uh, World of Tanks? Or no, not World of Tanks. 19, not 1941? 
No, it was a game that you could play for free if you had an EverQuest account, I think. Asher Asheron's Call actually has emulators. Does it? Um, God, what was that? City of... Now City I can't think of what that had... tank game was called. Shoot. City of Heroes has emulators. And everybody who's watching, you see me going through this zone, I'm killing these triple up orange heroics as easy as I am. It's only because I'm mentored down to level 90. I'm actually a level 20, so. If you came into the zone at level 90, these, these would not be this easy to kill. <laughs> oh, get off that target. Tabula Rasa was a sci-fi game. I, I don't think I've ever heard of that one. I did play, I played World War II online, and then I had to uh, go head to head and yell and scream at those those people because when I canceled my account, they, <laughs> they kept charging me for months. I had to go back and forth with emails for a long time with that company to get them to, to cancel my freaking account. I was so pissed off. Um, but like I said, with me, I, with my social anxiety that I have, I usually, I get on massive multi online role player games and if I'm having a good day, I'll get in groups of people I don't know. If I'm not having a good day, then, then forget it. There's no way I'm going to be talking to anybody. So I was going to say he gets on massively multiplayer games to play solo half the time because of his SAD. At the end of the ramp, climb the left-hand keg rack all the way to the <laughs> rafters and the ceiling. That's definitely true there, uh, Tommy. Hey, Tommy's talking in the thing, actually. That's uh, cynical optimism there. It's Gore Lord in the game here. <clears throat> I solo MMOs because I just... The more people I've ever... Most people I've played with have only been, all right, we're doing what I need to get my stuff. And as soon as I get it, I'm leaving you wherever I, wherever you're at. Yeah, that's why if I get in groups with those people, I don't group with those people afterwards. Yeah, I don't like... I have anxiety, but not anywhere near like my brother. And even I don't like playing with other people because I just don't want the stress. This is me getting away from reality, not bringing reality, well, reality with me to the digital area. I, I don't know if I would say too many stupid people <laughs> because I count myself as stupid. Um, I resent that remark. Uh, there's a, a lot of people what who take the who take the game as if this is my life. You know, it was rage. <laughs> oh Lord. That was Gore Lord if it, you guys couldn't tell. My freaking mercenary apparently pulled a pulled a freaking pulled a and her, killed they pulled one of the the her, the epics down on the bottom floor somehow um i played in like when i played everquest one that was my like i said i played it when it came out that was my entrance into the game and uh my pet got killed that time yeah. luckily for me well luckily for me as i was playing that game I got into a really good guild to be into. I got into a guild called Bregan the Arth. That was... Yeah, Lethal. That's... It's... For me, like, uh, when I started streaming, I thought it'll be cool because I'm just doing what I would be doing if I wasn't streaming, pretty much. And then I, But now I'm talking to people, and talking to people on a screen is a lot easier than talking to somebody face-to-face -to, -face to me. So, yeah. So if he wasn't streaming, he'd be playing and yet talking to himself about how no, he's playing. I would, I, if I wasn't streaming, I would be playing this game, and I would have music playing in the background. Not my music that you're hearing in the background if you're watching the stream, but I would be playing other music in the background. But um, nope, I gotta get my mercenary back up. 
Fucking what? It sounded better if you were explaining to yourself how to Damn play the game. Damn epics. Um, but in EverQuest 1, like I said, the reason I don't usually play a healer now is because of the way I would play my cleric. My main, my main character in EverQuest 1 was a cleric. I started off my first character ever I made the first day the game came out was a dark elf uh, shadow knight named Moonfog who I couldn't figure out how to get out of the, the dark elf city near and there was no online stuff for EverQuest yet because the game just came out um, and, and so I didn't I, even have the cheat the book so I just deleted that character it's <laughs> and so and so I made I deleted that character I made a, a human shadow knight and I played him for I think two months and got him to level seven and then he fell down the wall and the well and befallen and back in EQ1 <laughs> at that time when you died all your stuff stayed on your corpse and you either had somebody res your corpse or you ran to your corpse and looted everything off of it and you would lose experience when you died you didn't get experience debt bull crap that you get now where it just you just lose if some experience you, to pay back the stupid debt thing back then you would lose you experience dinged, and you could lose your level uh -huh. and if you just dinged and died you just lost your level and there was my cleric lost his level when he was trying to get level 20 so he could get his last name I went to that story the other day where he lost his level so many times And uh, Lisa wants to know where's the Discord. My Discord, I have a Discord for uh, for my guild, the one that Gore keeps popping in right now and shooting out expel to expel. Ex why would you say that? Bad words, expellative, not expellatives. But when I was playing. Expletives. Expletives. There Fuck. we go. Ex now that what I, what I just said. So, <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I say. Wow is is the entry. Um. So, my first inch, my first online experience was with EverQuest, and I was going beyond my my comfort zone and grouping with people. But then once I, my cleric started getting up to higher levels, I would get a lot of people in the groups sending me crap saying, you know, I play a cleric and the way you're doing it is wrong. You need to do this. You need to cast this. Don't cast this until this person gets to here. And you need to, and I would be like, if you want to play the healer, get on your healer. I'll give up my spot. You can heal. You know, it's like I played it the way I played it. People would die in my groups just like they would die in other groups. For the most part, I kept everybody alive. I would like the wizard would die because I was healing the tank and then the wizard would get on my cleric would have kept me alive you suck and blah 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 and so I that's why I don't play a healer on this this setup I my first character in EQ2 was a swashbuckler because I didn't want to get all that yakety schmackety blah 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 in my face and so and then I made this character because it's easier to solo with the conjurer and then you get Garlord who's a cleric but yet doesn't like to heal anybody yeah well he was actually healed me once or twice yesterday as a paladin so wait 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 he healed you want to get on my, my you want to get on the discord lethal you want to get in my my discord right now i gotta check my blood pressure hold on okay he healed and i'm still breathing okay we're good yeah he was saying yesterday when he did it he was like everybody saw it you saw it in stream i actually healed mark this time on the stream i healed somebody Okay, yeah, I'll I'll put you when we play on Saturday. I will put you in the the Discord for sure. And if everybody doesn't, got, if everybody doesn't know, Lethal Trichome there streams EverQuest two also. Uh, I make sure you I follow him just like eight. you follow me. I okay. got a level uh, eighty three Fury, but I haven't do I haven't done too much with him because. I kind of got a little power leveled up, and... It's all a lie. Classy runs a fucking Chrono Ponzi scheme. 
The only reason why he's trying to get people to join. So he can make more real life money off the backs of you hard working digital players. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Pawn, digital Ponzi scheme. I have never been accused of that before in my life. A chrono Ponzi scheme. Dig Dug. Dig Dug, he is on Match Duel. Yeah, Match Duel. This is on Match Duel, and then I also have stuff on Kaladim. But this is the main live one on Match Duel. And I apologize for you guys having to hear Gorlord. Lord. Fuck, you guys <laughs> just got a whole lot better. I can't imagine why he's only at where he's at when it comes to subscribers. How the hell? Hey, 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 watch your language, sir. This is a Christian stream. Oh, my God. Take, be gone from yes. here and yes. take your no, infernal take, take your time to talk about our. Please take the time to talk about our Lord and Savior. All around the ramps. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Chemo here's is some, hiding with the Here's rats. a cracker. Here's some wine. Shut the fuck up on the bottom. I'm trying to figure out the zone. I've never been here before. Yeah, I'm on match duel. Uh, which zone? Right now, I am in uh, the heck. What is it called? The hold of Rhyme, the, the fortress thing. spire. I'm doing uh, oh, the fallen swords. Some... Wait, is that the one with like the giant dining room in it and shit? Yep. That with the. We epic... were in there like fucking two weeks ago looking for shinies. You were. We both were. I wasn't in here. Remember, I, I was like, oh, we need to go back to... Yeah, that's when we went and, like, cleared Sleeper's Tomb and all that shit. I remember clearing Sleeper's Tomb. I don't remember. I've never been in the zone before. Yeah, we went into Kiel. Well, that's Kiel. This isn't Kiel. This is... If you go into the Great Divide, this is the triangular-shaped uh, little fortress in the middle of the Great Divide that has an instance in it. This is the instance right. in that... Where if I attack these epic times fours here on the bottom, I get pwned, even though I'm level 120 mentor down to 90. Uh, are they epics? No, oh, epic times four, yeah. I get one-shotted. Well, why don't you stop fucking sucking? <laughs> because that would take having to be able to play the game properly. Um because he's how am I supposed for 16 to... years and he doesn't know any different. How am I supposed to get over there? I'm supposed to... Oh, can I go around that way? Let me see. Yeah, you know your account now can actually get a driver's license. Did you just say your accountant-in-law can get a driver's license? No. Uh, I, just, I just said his account can actually get a driver's license. See, I wasn't that far off. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Don't kill me so, until I die from it. Kill him dead. Unlike the light. Don't kill me. Crap, he looked at me. Shit. Uh, okay, we're done with this quest for today. Oh, <laughs> poor little boy. You be thinking that's the, I, he got his butt kicked. That was, well, what level are they? That was the signature <laughs> quest. That's the signature quest for the for uh, the Great Divide expansion. Um, really? Well, let's, well, what level do I have to... Like, what's the highest we can... Uh, well, I'm mentored down to level 90 because I was doing the... That's because you're an idiot. Because I was doing the cold and ring yeah. quest. Holy crap, the House of Nip just leveled... Guild level 10, 20, 30, and 40 all together. Well, ding, 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 ding. You, took us, you took us from what? 23 to 120? No, we were guild level 65. And doing 65. the signature quest... It dinged us from 65 to 120 and one one tick, but that had nothing to do with so getting that much experience. Will those mods still be like green at level 105? Uh, let me go look at them. Let me get my Merc back. I have Merc. -y. You got I a Mercedes? Merc you have a Mercedes? Stop I it! Didn't... Don't be do doing nothing. that. I didn't do nothing. No, there's. We have three cats in this room, and I hate cats. And the kitten will use the litter box, but instead of trying to do the thing with the litter where it puts it, it digs it over and covers stuff, he will 
dig on everything but the litter. Like the side of the litter box. He was just digging the curtain for some reason. I uh, thought they were cool. Not a He's a cool sure. cat. He's like, hey man, I can dig this. <laughs> they are yeah. level. Well, they're level 98. So if you're at 105, they'll be green. I mean, I'm happy that he's using the litter box because he hasn't been doing that for very long, but. Leaving us gifts all over the freaking room. Use the litter, dummy. Use the litter. Dig the litter. Dig the litter. Put your foot in the litter dig and dig the litter. <laughs> Stop it. There's no litter there. What are you doing? Is this where I say, as usual, pussy's driving John crazy? Son of a mother's pigeon. Come on. You. What does that have to do with ravenous winged birds? Go over there and cover up what he just didn't cover up. Go. You. You. <laughs> Teach him. Go learn him. Teach learn him, him how to, to learn do it. him? Go learn him how to do it. Okay. So. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This is, this is what, more runs, dumb. This is what runs our guild. Yes. It's my guild. You guys are just guests. <clears throat> Actually, you can't make a guild in Ever EverQuest 2 without having 10 separate accounts. So it's everybody's guild as much as it's my guild. It's just I was the only one in it forever. <laughs> no, he's a power hungry squat. Don't let him fucking. Oh, I am not. It. Oh, my God. My, we have to put in at least hold on a, 20 look, hold on a Chinese into hold the collectible depot that's worth over 100 a day. So he can scribe him to his fucking else count. I spent two million <laughs> a flat a day on Tommy. shiny for this asshole. What? Tommy. Uh, there's so much now love I on got the both server. <laughs> now I got both of you quiet. Now I can turn around and do the joke. My guild, my guild, my guild. Talking about my guild. Screw my you! Guild. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, gonna, I was popping up the guild the actual guild little page thing and I was showing that I am the guild leader Gore Lord's also a guild leader Cult's a guild leader and then two of my other accounts are, or two of my other characters are guild leaders Wait, so also. I can kick you out of the guild? That'd be great uh, I don't know if you can kick Gore me Lord's out Gore Lord's the deer sounds much better uh, You could do that I don't think you can nah, change the guild name I think you have to petition to change the guild name but... Nah No, but you can get rid of the uh about the shop. I remember making this 2007. I made this because you and and Dazris were going away, and so I was like, "Well, you guys help me make an account because I'm not leaving." And so well, I'm staying. Why? So I had my two accounts, and I had Michael's two accounts, and then our third account. You know, I have <laughs> three accounts. Oh, I forgot, Lethal. You got on, and you still—you were still in your guild, but there was hardly anybody in it. Um, There's—I'm a guild leader, and then I have three of my three of my characters are actual <coughs> guild leaders. So that way, if I'm on either account, I can get on one of my characters that's a guild leader. Get off my foot! I'm guild leader. <laughs> you, I'm guild leader. You need to learn how to use the litter box right. So get off my foot until you can foot. figure that out. You know what? I'll yeah. piss wherever I want. No, the kitten just came and sat on my foot and was staring at me like, what are you doing? And I was like, you need to learn how to use a litter box. Here. He, he seemed to say. Go learn to use a litter box. I'll kick you up a YouTube video about it later. For some reason, I could see Glassy there with like an instruction manual trying to hide, hand it to a fucking cat. Here. No, he put it on. <laughs> he'd bring up YouTube. He'd bring up YouTube, make the cat watch the video. Yeah. Um, and then I made uh, Gore and and Dazrith guild leaders. So when I'm not on, if they need to get somebody on when they're on, if they need to add somebody, they can pop people into the guild. The best part is I'm like a guild invitee repellent. So pretty much after they see him on my streams, nobody wants to be in the guild. Yeah, you know what? Fuck him. <laughs> As a. What was it Popeye once said, "I am what I am." But you gotta, you gotta understand, Oz. If you look at my guild roster, you go down through it. Um, like there's my nephew, Dawes here. Eighty percent of it, eighty percent of it's him. Michael's got, I think, five or six characters on here. One of which 
has the the record for being offline the longest, 4,820 days. And then Jack Trauma from the band I was talking about with Steve has been offline for 4,815 days. Um, but 90% of the, the guild roster, how many people we got in the guild right now? There's 66 members mm -hmm. off 17 accounts. Out of those 66 members, 32 of them, 30, 30 of them are me. <laughs> Actually, no, more than 30 because the third account. So I have 30 on two mm -hmm. accounts and then this one here, like this Moonfog, this uh, Black Refix, and... They had, they had a third account. Tommy, that was are you watching my stream? Between, yeah, uh, between technically. and my nephew, and they forgot. This one here, uh, Sword Olive Helm, they been at? the level 12 Berserker, is that you or me? I put it down as me. Uh, oh, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Good Lord. It's Swart Elf Helm, which is like Black Elf. How do you actually keep track of that? But I can't remember if it's me or you. I put it down as me, but... Well, the fact that you know exactly what that face-rolling name is probably <laughs> means it's yours. And then that Grishnak there, that's you. I put that down as a Poopy Drawers character, because that's you. What? Grishnak? Yeah, no, the no, level no. 12 wizard? Is that you or Michael? I thought that was you. I wouldn't play a fucking wizard. Well, then that's Michael, then. Yeah, that bruiser, I think, was on the third account of mine. That was on your guys' third account that you can't remember how to get on. Get all the pawns out of can. There. I'll put that I down as Michael, oh, Michael, wherefore art thou? There. Um, I laugh, you guys figure out figure out that oh, the stuff to get back on that. There's my wife's get name. On that's my wife's character. We're going to do a stream someday about that. But yeah, so for the most part, I made this guild because everybody I was playing with were going to other, other, other servers and other raiding guilds. And then my character, I started on the Crushbone server. And they've, they've shrunk down the servers so much that now I'm on Majduel. I didn't even realize I was on Majduel. Cause you said. Yeah, I have characters in my guild that haven't been online for forty-eight hundred days. Cause you said. Cause you can't remember as long. Six hundred thirty-three members with two hundred seventy-seven accounts. We've got sixty-six members with seventeen accounts. Well, it'd be fairly easy to recover the third account if it, um, if you have like the credit card information. I don't have a clue what it was, because last time I think I used it was in Tulare, when me and Michael were living at Mom and Dad's place in Tulare. Oh, shit, back then. God, that's so long ago. Credit cards only had like four numbers on it instead of 16. Credit cards were just a, <laughs> credit cards were just a, a, just a piece of paper with a handshake. Yeah, you had to legally uh, drive your checks down to San Diego, pay $15 to Sony Online Entertainment. Yep, pretty much. And hope it didn't bounce. It was a mail-in card you had to send every month. Oh, a mail-in ballot? Yep. All right. So are you going to come here or what? Because I'm going to go back uh, to the guild. You need to tell me what level I need to be, you dingus. I told you they're level 93 quadruple epics. Oh, they're quadruple. Quadruple epics. <laughs> so would they gray out at 105? No, I think they'd be green. They're 98. So they're 98, 98. What I say? 93. Because they're, they're 98. I'm trying to remember yeah. at 120 level 106 mobs are still green. The names in the plane of magic are still green. So. 108 mob though. The epic times two 108 mob was gray to me in the fabled city when it one shot at me for one quadrillion. It was gray at level well, 108. That's true. So what, what level are you? 90? I'm 90 and they're orange triple up her uh, three time quadruple her ropes. Or what level are they? 98. I'll go to 105. 98.9. Shut up. Let me. Uh, hey, if I mean, then call it a hero me because fuck that travel. Oh, you want me to bring it? Are you mentored already? Yeah. Okay. Well, then group with me, you piece of person. 
Do you invite me because your name is like 16 different fucking Do you see letters. it? Is my stream up over there? Do you see what I'm doing? I kick up the guild thing, I click on you, and I hit invite to group. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah, because I then I don't even have to type in your name. But because, if you notice, I say that every fucking time. I'm like, oh, is that how that works? Because I will oh, not. I will not. I will not foul my keyboard with your name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? I was gonna say, considering you can't sit there and create a name that isn't like thirty-two letters long. What I have? All my characters have easy names: Class Elabolus, Ganungagap, Atrium Psychosis, Equimanthorn, Cacodemonus. They're just right off the tip of the tongue. See, just like that. You can. Uh, this is a raid zone, so oh, you can, you can bring up your uh, mercenary too, so it, it can die also. Do you have Do you have your uh, mender bot on you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I need it. I'm down to seventy. You're down to seventy. Who the fuck? What are you doing? Stuff? Go away. Get out from under my chair. Learn how to Please use turn. the freaking thing over there. Go. The you mender. too. Get out from under the desk. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, what the fuck are we doing here? Okay, so where'd you go? Don't go that way. You're going to zone out. <laughs> come back over here. If you think about it, I've been zoning out since 1993. Well, you play like it. Come here. <laughs> Move it, thine ass. Okay, so look. I got to go back over there. I have, have you done this zone before? This is the... I probably did it a long time ago. <laughs> what is it called again? I just forgot. The Fortress of Spire and the Old of Rhyme. So I can go upstairs. I killed everything upstairs already. But these guys here, they're Epic Times 4s and they're one-shotting me like freaking mad. So I Is there a script to this fight? Well, let me read you what it says on the page. It says... And this derp, derp, dingly, derp, derp, dee -dee, times four. It says... The first room is filled with dwarves getting ready for a raid. Ignore them for now. Daily mission quest giver, blah, blah, blah. Second room contains epic times four mobs. Don't be discouraged that you are indeed in the correct heroic zone. Sneak by them along the right-hand wall. Get in the corner for wanderers. Kill them. Go up the ramp. Kill them. Uh, key mob, blah, blah, blah. The chest is in the room, blah, blah, blah. The end of the ramp. So the door out of the bar is, is unlocked if you get that. It doesn't say anything about killing these guys. All right. Well, then let's kill them. Hold on. What? <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I've been talking about. All right, so there's some kind of script. But I don't see a script in here. Oh, right. okay, hold on. Look, 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 look. Oh, no, we fucking hit you. No, I just wanted you to die. So look. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> no, it's... um. Uh, how much... They hit you for... You took 459,413,999 damage. And I stood by and watched because I was looking at the other page. It says, Didn't say anything I got to get a key it. mob who's hiding in one of the racks. A drunk sh shard hammer guard. The chest is in the room on the bottom floor near the bar. It says once you go up, it says at the end of the ramp, climb the left hand keg rack all the way into the rafters. You'll encounter uh, the first name, Agna Ice Spear. After killing her, the epics become non aggro. That sentence I didn't read. After killing her, the epics become non aggro. So, we gotta go upstairs over here. Hold on. Look at your stream. Stand next to me. Mike, where are you at? Hold on. Are you on fire? Are you crying? This is how I feel. <laughs> what? It's I don't get to see you die very often, so that was pretty cool. Ow, you stinking cat. Get away from my leg. See, even the cat's like... Here, you guys want to play with this? You guys want to play with this? Huh? huh? You want to play with this? So what, we sneaking past these guys? We got to go upstairs, and there's a named up in the rafters or something. So we just walk past them over here. If you stay on this wall, you won't see them. You have to walk to one of the, it says go up the racks. There's a way to go up one of these, climb up one of these. Oh, right here. You can climb up these racks. But it says at the end over there. So I don't think, I don't think it's this one. I think it's over here. I 
I think it's this one. It says you can climb up the racks and get into the rafters. Oh, it's probably these over here. Yep, it's that one. And then there's a named up there that once we kill her, uh, these epics below will become non-aggro. So had I actually read that, that guy is giving us the key there. Ah! Did he kill you? I hope so. I really hope so. Fuck! He disarmed me. Hmm. Ale stained key. Yay! It's just like being at Tommy's house. All right. Agna Ice Spear. Yep. That's her. She has to die? Oh, she must die more than once. Um, if Dead. I get up there. Oh, okay, so now that I got up there, you've already killed her. Did she drop anything? Ring of Dangerous Heights. You can have that. Uh, okay. You hear a door unlock in the distance. Yep, so now we got to come down here. Wait. I there's a bunch it. of fucking switches up here. These guys are non aggro now. Really? Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Did you see what Osco said in, in the stream? The only racks I like to climb are. Never mind. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, that's what you always talk about. So now these guys are non aggro yep. down here, so. Well. The whole purpose of those guys being epic times four is just to screw with people until until they do that part. So, Yeah, you're lucky, Lilith says Frostbeard, you piece of shit. <laughs> That's what I was saying. There's got to be something because I'm level 120 and I can normally nuke these people. Oh, I'm going to let you guys go for a little bit. I'll be back on a little bit later. Bye! Sell. <laughs> yep, these guys are no longer a grow. And there's a chest over here somewhere. There it is. Yay! A primal volume mm -hmm. shard. Get those fucking things away from me. Um, and then what was it I needed? So there was a whole reason I was here. Locate the coescence of life. So. The uh, is uh, at the end, so it's the last. The orb is in the room of the last name. Climb the ladder to reach it. Yeah, these assholes are still talking. Are they? Oh, there's a door that should have unlocked. Where's the door? There it is. Okay. Alrighty. Yay, barely. Yea, verily, I say unto thee. Say, baby, do you want to let down bomb me? Oh, my Whoops. debt was reduced. Yay. Oh, the fortress fire. Maybe that's where this thing gets its name. Whoops. I think I was totally taking a dump. That's what it looked like. Um, let's go to the right. There's dos named over this way. Two named. So I was watching Steve last night, and this is this is no no uh, dig on Steve or anything, but right as we went to raid at the last the like one guy's channel, I looked down at when we got to that guy's. Only members of the Ryan may enter. Okay, we must not be members yet. No, you, I'm full did, uh, did you, I'm going to say, did you, did you pay your fees? Um, so when we went to raid that guy's channel last night, I looked down at the bottom to see what his icon was to see if I had ever been on this guy's stream before. And I had We're going back to the... Back to the what? And so I... Yeah, back to the room with all the giants and shit. Is that where we came from? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I looked down at the stream, the, the guy's icon to see what the stream was, and I could only see his right eye. I couldn't see his left eye, because usually that means I'm starting to get a massive migraine. Yep. And I was like, oh, crap, don't start this now. I'm going to bed. And so 
I had spent all last night with a insane freaking migraine in the membrane and Oh, there's a giant switch I can't click. All right, this way. And so when I got up this morning, I still had this migraine going on where I couldn't look at anything with like light going on. It was it wasn't as bad as last night, but it was still like hanging right behind my right eye. And I was like, "Come on, I'm going to stream today. You can't be doing this." So I got on and played this morning to see if I could do it. And then as I was playing, it was the migraine was going away. So I've been playing this whole time with it, like just sitting like I'm right on the edge of the migraine's going to start again. The migraine's not going to start again. Do All not right, get I too close to Turk. What did I say? Do not get too close to Turk Tonga Puncher. Yeah. Why? What? Did, I couldn't finish reading that. Why did it say? Don't know. Up. Oh. oh, am I going to have to murder you? He's an epic times quadruple. Uh, here's the problem. He's not taking any damage. So. Yeah, I can see that. Let's see. Uh, go around and try to uh, drain the water. Drain the water. You see any? Oh, what's going on with all this? Are you still holding aggro over there? Yeah. You, you better be. That's all I gotta say. Um. Okay, so Turt, who will become epic times four if he sees you. Um, once in the water, there are no mobs here. You have to swim to the center where three people you need to click the switches in order to drain. You need three people? You need three people need to click the switches simultaneously in order to drain the water. Well, looks like our... Our, our adventure is over because I can't go... I have to go up higher... It's the last named anyway, so. Yay. You gonna evac or what? Nah, I can just run him off. <laughs> yeah, this... I knew since we were down here, it's like, we have to lower the water. I've done this before. Yeah, so, but it's just a signature quest I was... I started doing because I was doing another. I was trying. I finished the cold end ring quest except for I have to do. Uh, there's like two parts I have to do or one part I have to finish. And there, um, I'm gonna do it probably Saturday because um, Lethal needs some help in, in one of the zones I was doing. So I was like, oh, I can do this later. Well, once your pet gets over here, I'm pretty sure he'll break. Come here, dummy! There he is. Oh no, he's coming at us! Whatever shall we do? He looks like a really fast midget. I like to say, holy crap! Wow, he followed us all the way over here? Hmm. Did you yell for help? Yep. Your yell for help goes unheard. Huh? There. Let's... I yell at it for help. Come here, pet. <clears throat> Could you keep your flames out of my face? Thank you. <clears throat> I'm a proud member of the Blue Flames. <laughs> You're a proud member of something. That's a great chain you're wearing there, buddy. Is he still coming at you? He's after a kitty catch. Hey, Steve! That's an awesome name my pet has. Viv! Hey, Viv! What's up? I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> I was just talking about you earlier, Steve. Were you on? Hopefully not. I don't want it to get back to you what I was saying.
And you, you missed me explaining how the cat won't work, use the cat box. <laughs> oh, don't ever apologize, Viv. I'm grateful anytime you guys get on and watch. I'm doing great. Other than the migraine I had today, I'm doing great. No, you don't need to watch my stream, Steve. There's nothing to see here. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go back to the guild hall. Yeah. Now you know what I will, I'm gonna do too. I am gonna, I will pop up the the attack. Would you guys leave me alone? Here, take some rocks. All right, to the guild hall. <clears throat> yeah, I I was watching Steve's stream last night, and right as we went to raid Steve. When we got to, what was the guy's name? I forgot his name. Who'd we go raid last night? It was, uh, it was the last guy. I just followed him last night, too. Um, when we popped up on his stream, I went to look at his icon down in the bottom corner to see if I'd ever streamed there before. And I could only see, like, the right eye on his face. I couldn't see his left eye, which was telling me I'm getting a migraine because I got a blind spot all of a sudden. So... I spent all last night with a mi massive migraine and a kitten that wouldn't leave me alone while I was trying to sleep. And I woke up today and I still had the migraine, but it wasn't as bad. And so I got on th early this morning to see if I could play, which I can. And so I've been dealing with the migraine. But I was talking about your stream last night, Steve, and everything that's who you are and what you do and how you have 600 children and all that fun stuff and what you're going to do tonight at 8 30 and at 10 o'clock so all right uh, what are you going to do today gore uh no idea no i was, I was going to look up that guy we were fighting last night so i could see what it was we got to do to kill him kill I forgot what this what his name was. The guy we were fighting last night, the one on the the sacred ground that that one shot at us. Oh yeah, his name is asshole. No, because every time I search for that, it pops you up for some reason. Hey, what can I say? Strive to be the best. I like to say, holy crap! It was in shade. We weavers stick it. He said with a hiccup. It was. It wasn't fair. Or fair or, ah, I just took for shade. We were stuck at. Okay, and then it was Shade Weaver stick it. Was it Kara? Loda Kyle Isle or whatever? Nope, it wasn't that. Uh... One. It was Shade Weaver stick it. Yeah, it wasn't Feral Reserve. Feral Reserve is the yep. one we already did. Uh, was, I believe it was Feral Reserve. No, because Feral Reserve we did. We finished that one. That was the one that had the spider that was from Diablo. Ah, you piece of cat. Stop clawing me. Um, ah, you piece of shit. Uh, it's called Vexing. Stop it. Leave me alone. Go over there. The cat's jumping up on the chair and clawing my side. Oh, that brought some blood. <clears throat> your latest, your latest follow was thanks to me. Hopefully, you get a lot of follows because of me because you deserve it. You're, I was talking about your polished screen and everything, the way you got the the dissolve into the other screen and everything now, and how professional it all looks. I was like, yeah, Steve has got it going on, so he's the one people should be following. And I'm thankful for everybody who's following me and my, my I think I have six subscribers now, Steve, so I have 60 something followers and six subscribers, so. Oh, that hurt. Freaking kitten. Freaking kitten. It's not the Co Coda Isle. It's what is it called? Is called the Untamed Lands. And nobody's put anything up for that yet. Son of Motherless Chicken. Okay, so it's... 
Shade Weaver, stick it. I'll look it up on the Googles. Untamed lands. The untamed lands, yo. It is up there, it just wasn't linked to the page. <laughs> so, Sotek at the Whispering Falls. Find the glowing red beacon at the edge of the island. Click on, click to honor thy spirit. Cure and get off the island as soon as possible. Pull Sotek to the land opposite the island. Seemingly every 20% or so, he will port you back to the island. When you land, cure Arcane and then pull back to the mainland. I was trying to cure last night and I don't think mine ever hit. It's because you're suck. Do I have cure arcane? I have cure magic. Do you have a cure arcane? Uh, I'm looking right now, and wow, that's a lot of money. <laughs> what? Did you sell something? No, uh, the I'm looking at the void piercers cure arcane. Oh. Oh, you know what? I probably have it in a stinking potion. I have so many of them. All right, I'm gonna stop mentoring. I'm going back to 120. Booyah! I like what to say! Oh, holy crap! Nerd or die, is that your, uh... What is nerd or die, Steve? Yeah, I'm back to my original. Oh yeah, Oscar just followed you, that's awesome. Oh, that's where you got your overlay set up? I don't, well, I'm never going to have the overlay because I'm never doing video. Nobody's going to see this mug. Oh, one day I'm going to start streaming and it's just going to be filled with ladies. I'm going to be like, how can someone so stupid and asinine look so good? And I'll be like, I don't know. Well, let me tell you. Um, no, I'm looking to see. I should have. Would you go away? You know, I bought, a, I bought some of those Veil Walkers Cure Arcane. You're a cute ADs. kitten, but you're annoying me right now. Go away. Go over there and play. Go over there. Go over there. Bad Go over there. No, he's trying to pull my headphones cord out. Uh, I'm going to have to send him away to military school. So I need. I should have a Cure Arcane potion, I would think. Yeah, I bought eight of them. Well, I mean, I should have them from right there. From right there. Academics Arcane Remedy. Applies Arcane Remedy when activated. Dispels 129 levels of Arcane Hostile effects on the caster. Yep. You piece of Jonathan. Why didn't you have that up when you were there? Because you suck and fuck. What's the recast on it? Nine and a half seconds? Yeah, so I only have 899 of them. Oh my god. Slacker! Well, so everybody who's watching right now, all my billions and billions of fans, um, <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> Steve Fantasy there, that guy there, Steve Fantasy. Tonight at eight thirty, he'll be. Are you going to be doing Strong Bad again? He's trying to find, yeah. trying to find little Broda. <laughs> Um, oh, little boy, little boy, you can do I don't it. Know how to make it on my own. <laughs> you can do it, little boy. Um, awesome, I love that game. Um, he's gonna be broadcasting, he's gonna be streaming tonight at 8 30 Pacific time. He'll be doing a uh, strong bad school game for attractive people, and then at 10 o'clock, since he hit the two thousand dollar donation uh, for Extreme Life for the Seattle Children's Hospital. He's going to be shaving off his beard, which he's had for six years. So his youngest, who's never seen him without a beard, will see him tonight without a beard. And his second youngest, who's seen him without a beard but was too young to remember it, is going to see him without a beard for the first time. So at 10 o'clock, he's going to wake all the kids up. No, they'll still be awake. Extra life. Did I not say extra life? Um, you know what? Add to the drama. Let him go to sleep, then shave your beard off, and like, <laughs> and then wake, wake him, him up. Shake him. <laughs> get up! Get up! Fuck! I can just see that in his his youngest just punching him square in the face. Hey, hey. Um, you know what that's called? Quality content. Oh, I said extreme life. It's extra life. Yeah, I said it wrong. 
Um, so Steve is going to have all the kids sitting where he's normally sitting when he streams on camera, and then he's going to go in the house and shave his beard off, and then probably cry a little bit because it's been a while since he's had his clean shaven face, and then he's going to come back in and the stream will see the reaction the kids give to him not having a beard. Uh, how many are all the kids going to be there, Steve, or are you going to have? Yeah, <laughs> he lives in Washington State, so. He may get some frostbite walking back out to the to the gaming room. Just the youngest three. Junie's not gonna be there. So do you want to go try that again, Tommy? You want to try and finish finish the signature? Or yeah, you... let's try. It. Or you got stuff to do. Uh, not really. uh, so you run all the way over there, then just call it here. Thank you. I don't think I can. Yeah, it's like 14 minutes before I can recast it, so I should be able to. Oops, maybe I should. All right, I'm moving this Christmas tree. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna move it. I'm just gonna shrink it. You like to move? I like to shrink the Christmas tree. There we go. Oh, one, two, three, go. Three, three Christmas trees. Ah, 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 ah. Does she live? She lives. Well, she obviously lives near you, right, uh. Steve? Because she's been next to you before in some of your, some of your streams. Oh, she lives next door. Oh, wow. Then you gotta go back this way. This is the latest expansion, everybody, if you haven't seen it. This is a Nexus, and then we gotta go through here, which is Echo Cavern. We gotta fly through the Echo Cavern to get to the other side. <laughs> she moved very far away. Yeah, she went one house over. Uh, but if you guys haven't watched Steve, Steve is awesome to watch. And like on Friday nights when they're doing Final Fantasy XIV, he'll be on, his wife will be on, his daughters will be on, his cousin will be on, um, some uh, Jack Trauma, the drummer from the band we were in, his kids will get on. It's all just a lot of getting together, having fun, and just goofing around Final Fantasy XIV online. <laughs> like my streams? No, I don't have anywhere near as many people. Huh? Your streams have more people than my streams. Yep. I have like four people, oh, maybe. Was parking like crazy. That's what I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Except for when Tommy's got Tommy's got peoples in his place over there. This is a popular house. Yep, yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> She loves me until there's other people. No. Oops. True. You're taking forever. I'm running. Running, running, running. Yeah, so Steve, watching Steve play, and then usually on Saturdays he'll play a scary game, and it's hilarious to watch him playing, especially when, when he was playing Aliens. Every time he walked past a freaking one of those uh, air vents and air vents is scary since fucking when watching him play uh, watching him play aliens <laughs> or is it scary because the air conditioning's turned on in the bill at the end of the month going to be frightening yeah I'm at 6 subscribers uh, I think I'm at 6 I'd have to look I think I'm at 6 one of which is you, Steve, so thank you for the follow. Thank you for the subscribe. Um, that's you, Michael. I think Gore here has got a subscription. That's three. Freddy, Freddy Ruck's been subscribed. You still keep looking at air vents. <laughs> Whoop, where am I going? The city's over there. This is the, uh, what is it? The Savage Weir zone. And then here, this is going into the city of the Belshir. 
Yeah, there's an air vent right outside my bedroom door, Steve, and every time I walk out, I'm looking at it now. Like somehow the aliens are going to come back in real life. If anything drips out, you may crap your pants. I still think I had a good idea, though, where you were playing, um, what, out, what is it called, Outlast? When you were playing Outlast, I was, I told his wife, Erin, who was watching, that Steve's, where Steve has his setup is separate from the house. Outlast, yeah. So Steve, Steve streams from, like, his little man cave outside of the house. It's not outside, but it's, it's separate from the house. And so I told his wife she needs to sneak out there and just slowly open the door and then scream really loud and run back in the house. Well, make sure you're throwing a roll of toilet paper when you do. <laughs> yeah, it's the tiny house that he built. This is the house that Steve built. Boy, if you ever think you've done something great in your life, just remember Steve built his own house. We built this house. <laughs> we built this streamer. We built this we built streamer. This house on our property. On our brain so property. <laughs> Steve lives in Washington, where it's raining every second of every day. Sounds like. All right, you ready? It's like that movie, uh, was it The Crow? And that girl's like, it can't rain all the time. He should have looked up and been like, you ever been to Washington? <laughs> you ever been to Washington State? Um, do you have, don't you have Call the Veteran? Mine's still down for nine minutes. Oh my God. I know. Lift a finger, click on the mouse, you poor thing. I'm exhausted from adding in classic commentary. It's, <sighs> it's been raining pretty much since Halloween, the week after Halloween, Steve. You didn't get any snow? It didn't snow for Christmas? You didn't get a white Christmas? Oh, where is it? It, uh, it, should, it should be the little ball that says "Call over the veteran." Uh, <laughs> there's sounds you can you can use your channel points for sounds and stuff, and then I put down explain some things. Um, Steve used the name of my pet the other day, the five thousand points to name my pet. That's why my pet, oh, who I don't have because I mentored. My pet's name is Kitty Cha Cha because that's what Steve chose it to be. <laughs> oh, I was going to ask you, Steve, how can I, uh, like when you did that and it didn't pop anything up on the screen, how can it do, how can I change that to where it will pop something up on the screen? Because I just saw it pop up in my activity feed. Yay, there you are. Okay, so this is oh where we're going to go. I know. Oh. Do, you need, do you need to take a nap now? <laughs> I definitely need a game. <laughs> oh, it didn't let me in. Hold on. What? Did you start? Did you start it over or something? It didn't let me in. It said Fuck. it's unavailable. Fuck no. Hold on. Did you reset years? No, I'm resetting it now. Okay, now let me see if I can get in. I didn't reset mine. Yeah, I'm still using the uh, Twitch Studio beta. Yes, it did. <laughs> it said, not if you was the last immigrant grocer on earth, honey. That's the beginning of a David Lee Roth video from the 80s. Oh, because you're, you're using the Streamlabs? I keep wanting to move over to that. I have it on my computer. I just haven't moved to it yet because I'm... Change scares me. <laughs> what, the sign of loose quarters jingling in your pocket terrifies you? No, it's a whole different setup. It's it's not a whole different setup. It's a, it's a different setup than what I'm using, so I'm just, I'm not. I started using this one because it's the most basic and the easiest one for simpletons like myself. And then Are you saying you're a simp? Pretty much. And then moving to uh, Streamlabs okay. is a little more, it's not more intense or anything. It's just a different setup. It's like, it's like using a different GUI than Windows, I guess. Kind of would be, it's like not using Internet Explorer instead of using Netscape, you know? I don't know shit about computers. I just like to play games. All right. So here's the name over here. 
Got anything cool lined up? Mom? We gotta use this. Go no. I wanna do this if this kitten will leave me alone. So I'm gonna take off and go say at least hi to Geese before. Where in the world? Later. Um, what are you doing? I'll be back. Get away from my feet. You, eat you need, need to relax. Stop scratching. Really? One Stop second. Scratching. I okay. think somebody's trying to offer me vegetables. No. You. Okay. I'm not that dumb. I have a huge ass pork loin. Come here. Green. Come here, and you. I'll Cat, come here. Yeah, Take care of this kitten. You. So Take care of this kitten. You. Cat. You. Cat. Come here. Yeah, you told me no veggies. Yeah, no veggies. Hey, you know what? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm such the cat fan there, Steve. I have the kitten in real life will not leave me alone. He's been scratching my leg all day. He was jumping up on my chair, scratching my side earlier. You, relax. Stop it. Relax. Shouldn't you guys be sleeping all day? Isn't that what you cats do in the first place? Sleep. Go to sleep. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No biting, no scratching, no biting. Get up there and go to sleep. All right. Uh, I am not a cat person and I'm in a, stuck in a room with three cats. Derek, you just subbed? Holy ow! And the cat scratched my leg right as you did that. Thank you, Dirk, for subscribing. You are subscriber number seven. Holy smokes. Thank you so much. Uh, I always tell people when I remember to, when I'm not completely caught up in the game, I tell people to follow because it's free or subscribe if you can afford to. So. Yeah, the, my cat, my kitten right now is going kitten crazy. I keep picking him up and putting him on the bed. And then he keeps coming down at me at Jesse Owens speed and attacking my legs. Uh, this right here, I think it's F F11. Yeah, if you hit F11, it'll pop up and show you. So I'm running at six, 55 frames, 62 frames per second. F11 on the standard setup will run it. Welcome to the stream, more. Yeah, like uh, Gore here. Where's he at? Is he still at the zone? Um, Gord, when he crashed yesterday, I my game crashed twice yesterday. His game crashed twice yesterday, and when he got back on, his uh, hope I can close those now. His journal helper, his quest helper over here, had popped off. Yeah, he's probably going to take a nap. Somebody offered him vegetables, and uh, he was asking me, "How do you kick up your your quest helper again?" I was like. Pfft. I have no idea. There's a little button right here. You got to click on to have it up, but his was uh, because he crashed. Wow! Last time you played was after the official release in 2004. It was released uh, November 8th, 2004. So, um, the best thing to do: Are you playing free, or did you buy a subscription? <clears throat> are you paying playing monthly? Wow, you played an alpha and pre-alpha. Wow, I played EQ one since it was li since it went live, and then I started on EQ two. I would have started the day it came out, but GameStop. I'm eyeballing you, Steve, when I say that. I GameStop didn't get my my collector's ten in until two days after it went live, so I didn't start. So you have a sub. Um, a good place to start. If you haven't played in a while, is get on a time lock server like Kaladim. Oh, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt pre-alpha was different. Um, if you haven't played in a while, it'd be probably good to start on a time lock server like Kaladim, where the the level cap right now is at 80, um, because that's like it was when you when you played before. If you want to just jump right in and start it on the live server like where I'm playing on Mage Duel, um, then you can start on a live server, but you're gonna have 17, 16 or 17 expansions worth of stuff going up. So, uh, I think, I think, hopefully, I'm hoping that Daybreak being bought out is going to be a really good thing because looking at the company that bought them out, um, they have a lot of games going. 
so hopefully it will this new company will you know put more into the game i think in ways that it might have more people it can spend more people it can put into the game uh, because, like I tell people, you, if you weren't watching earlier, you didn't know that uh, Dark Paul had been bought out, Viv? Oh, stop it. Stinking kitten. Oh, you play on Halls of Fate? You're not the only one. <laughs> I've had a couple of people pop on who say they, they're playing Halls of Fate. Yeah, um, Daybreak got bought out. Uh, by a company in Sweden, I think it is, who has a bunch of other games that they're they're over. Um, and it'll be, I think it'll be good in the long run. In that, I think they'll be able to put what what what? Where were you attacking? Why did I just do that? Oh, Gordon must be attacking somebody over there. Um, I think it'll be good because I think they can put more more stuff into it. EG7, yeah the company from Sweden. I think they'll be able to, maybe they can put more resources into it. Um, it's still, EQ2 is still making a profit. It's nowhere near as big as it was, but it's still turning a profit. EQ1 is still turning a profit, I think. Uh, he must be talking to people still. Uh, but I think, hopefully it'll be good. Um, okay, so you're ready to go? You good to go? Remember, use the arcane remedy as soon as you get rooted. And they said bring him all the way over here. He can't be near the island. So bring him all the way. Yeah, they have Lord of the Rings. I think Lord of the Rings is doing better than EQ1 and EQ2. And when we pop up over there, Tommy, remember, cure arcane, get back over here. I'm going to put my pet on... Okay. Yeah, so hopefully it, they'll... Uh, I think it'll be a good thing, hopefully. Bring him all the way back over here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, pet. All the way over here. Your pet sucks. Nope, I'm bringing him back over here. Oops, I'm bringing him back over here. He's coming back over here. There we go. Crap, 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 crap. See it. Yep, 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 there we go. Who, Lord of the Rings Online, Steve? Know what you're talking about? Because if you're talking about EQ2 or something like that, that would be awesome news. <laughs> Get off the island, Gore! I couldn't even see you there for a second. I was like, get off the island, Gore! Son of a motherless pigeon. Ah, what happened? Ah, uh, you're gonna have to kill him. I'm dead. Yeah. As per usual, squishy finger wiggler died. I don't know what he did to kill me. He did something. He hit me for damage. That must be what it was. <laughs> it would be interesting. I think. Oh, I was just. <laughs> I saw him pop up on the island. I was gonna use my cure arcane. I'm dead. I can't be doing that. Um. That would be interesting. I think when they were talking about EverQuest next, which would be an EverQuest three, which I'm glad they didn't do. Um, that I think they were making that for console. So that would have been interesting. Go Gore Lord! Go Gore Lord! It's your Gator! It's your Gator! They had 160 games. Holy crap! I was just hoping I'm in the water over here if you want to come res me, maybe. Or am I on the island? I can't tell. I'm on the island. 
they had 160 games at one time. What I was worried about when I heard they got bought out without knowing any of the information on it, the first thing I thought was it was going to be like uh, the com a company I used to work for called Bra um, Bloomington Wholesale Garden Supply. When they got bought out, the the new company went in and started just firing people all over the place. I know I was afraid that might happen with this company, but yeah. Hold on a second, Tommy. Oh, I don't need that. Hold on a second. I wonder what. Oh, and that Global Seven. Wow, they got quite a bit. They do Dungeons and Dragons online. H1Z1, Zombie Army 4. Oh, they do My Singing Monsters. I had that on my phone for a bit. Boom. Ba Boom. 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 Sniper Elite. Planet Coaster. Holy crap. Well, that's good to see because hopefully that, that'll keep it running for a while. I'm going to add that to my... I'm gonna add that page to my games folder so I can check that out later. That's awesome. Um, oops. All right, Tommy. Are you ready for this? <laughs> You did 2.2 billion, I did 714 million. Well, if you think about it, half that fight you were dead. So your DPS would be much higher. You know what? Well, no, I'm not throwing shade. Oh, yeah, you are. You're always throwing shade. Well, yeah, I kind of low-key, but I was trying to keep it as low-key as possible. Yeah, you low-key. That happens so often. Um, That's it. Where's the Boston other one? Um, we gotta just kill this named up there. I think. Hey, look! It's a Gord Taco Invader. Yay! Yeah, it's me when I got tacos. These are sexy little guys. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to target off of you, and for some reason I can't target. There we go. Yeah, you want to take all these guys out before you take out the named. <laughs> Well, they do not like me. It would be interesting to make EQ 1 and 2 offline games when most of the stuff is saved on the servers. Oh, it's not Haka! No, it's not. It's not Haka. Great. Who pulled not Haka? Huh? Was it you? It had to be you, because I never do anything like that. Let's see. What is the trick here? It had to be... Just kill it. Nuke it until it dies. Oh no, he has summoned an ad. I say we subtract him from the equation. He summoned an ad. David I... Caruso glasses. I summoned an abacus. Hmm. I guess I need that. Stolen staff that seems to pull you in a direction of some kind of staff direction. What are you doing? Murdering things! No, not you. I'm talking to the kitten. The kitten's oh. screwing What's around again. Do what I'm supposed to. Stinking cat. Yeah, EQ1 is a an, an massive uh, piece of online gaming history. That's why I always find it weird. Okay, the next name is over here, Tommy. We gotta go across the bridge. Next name is across the bridge and up to the right. 
Um, I find it weird when I watch stuff on YouTube and they're talking about the best online games and stuff like that, and then EQ's not even mentioned, and I'm like, how can you not mention EverQuest? Because it doesn't have you know, a million monthly subscriptions. Um, I'm waiting for Ashes of Creation or you know Pantheon. Dark Sun, Dark Souls was meant to be an MMO. I didn't know that. So Tommy, we gotta go over here and see that that spot over there. Can you see where I'm looking? There's a there's a like a little flat area up there. We gotta kill all the name or kill all the stuff around that flat area. And then when the name spawns up, he spawns with a bunch of other things around him. We gotta kill all the stuff around him before he he's able to take all his damage. So in other words, named spawns ads, kill the ads. Kill yeah, and the ads are gonna be not near him. They're gonna be They're gonna be down around the corner. Some of them are not you'll be able to see him from where he's at, but they're not gonna be like right next to him. Oh, I love it when they stereo their voice. You know, if you kill the undead in uh, the Racklands and you run away real quick, their first word is like, I can't remember what it, god damn it. But if you run away real quick, all you hear is, shit. Because <laughs> they have like a line of dialogue, but if you run away, it kind of cuts it off like the first second. All you hear is, shit, shit. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I'm like, all right. Of course, you would find a way to make this game say that. Whoops. Yeah, I learned it this morning. Oh, I thought you had already done that before. No, I was like, awesome. Was Meridian 59? Uh, Meridian 59 was that a fantasy game or was that a like a first-person shooter? Because I might be confusing it with something else. Get over here. And I guess it's this pile of bones. Yep. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. Get away from that over there. Come over here. Are Come you talking to me or the fucking cat? Come over here. You're 650 miles away. I'm talking to the cat. Come here. Get away from there. That is not for kittens to play with. Stay away from the guitar. Come here. Come here. Come <laughs> Heather. I'm picturing a cat sitting there like starting to like reach for your guitar and you're like don't you dip well I since all my guitars got their necks warped to living up there um, the only one I have that I can play is my Jackson Kelly's or my Jackson Randy Road standard and my seven string and <laughs> the cats over like charge starting to climb up the side of this the Randy Rhodes Ultra V standard and I was like no you get away from that don't screw up my only guitar. I still got shit to record. Incoming and whatnot. Like old Doom? Okay, I see what you're saying. Alright, so you you keep him. I'll kill these guys. Well, what's this lesser shade? That's the things I got to kill. That's the add-ons. Oh. It's like I was saying, they, they go on for a ways. When I was killing him, I was taking all these shades out. You got to go down here and around the corner. Yeah, I, I, I think I played Marie in 59 when it first came out. Uh... Yeah, let me know whenever you're close and I'll pop off a heel. Let me, I'll run up to you right now. There's one up here by you. I'll pop off a heel. Done. Okay. I'm only hitting for a billion, so I'm, I'm not killing him as fast as I would like. Oh, they redeveloped it? I remember, I think my mom was playing Meridian 59. My mom, when I first we first got computers, they were just wanting it for the fact they wanted computers. And my dad is like, you know, really tough, didn't talk very much kind of guy. And then, before I knew it, my dad was playing Diablo. <laughs> Alright, is it taking more damage now? Because I think they're all done. Well, he got down to uh, like 0% health then. There we go. Yeah, he won't die when those guys are up. So, all right. So now, before we go and do this, oh, this, you need those? Nope. Before we go do this last guy, I think I'm already wearing those. Twenty-three oh sevens. Yeah, I'm. I'm wearing shoes that are. 
I'm wearing 2339 or 2329s. That's a collectible. Hey, that just finished the collection. Yay! Go me! Awesome. All right. So hold on a second. I'm gonna read you what we gotta do for this last guy. Oh my god. So come here. Come stand right here. Okay. So see down there. See those guys that are inside those little black lightnings. Yep. And you, can you see that guy, the desolator? I have them highlighted oh, on my screen. Door, the desolator. The burninator. So when we attack this guy, as we're fighting, he kicks up two portals, one in front of him, one in back of him. You have to follow which portal he goes into and click on it. And so you'll pop up where he pops up. And he'll pop up in the middle of one of these black things with these named guys. And while you're in there, you're taking damage inside the black area. And of course, when you pop up, the, uh, the guys around it will, will start attacking um, but first you have to, you got to, what they say to do is to kill all these guys in here. And that's what I did. I killed all these guys. Um, went to all the little spots where the, where the little lightnings are at and killed all the guys inside of them. Yep. Yeah. Um, because it says as a desolator will keep porting you into the lightning patches, dispelling them is helpful. Pulling them out of the lightning strikes makes them easier to kill as well. So when I would pop, when I would pop up. To kill these guys, I would aggro them and pull them out of the lightning. Um, and then it says every 10% or so, he'll open two portals. You have to follow him through the one he went through. If you don't, if you go to the wrong portal, then you will be one-shotted and die. Well, I have that orb, and I have to use it on this mob right here. You know, that's a good idea, Moore. I never thought about that. Running super fast when you have to ow, shoot, you have to trip. These guys will not die all the way. They will get down to about twenty five percent and become no, non-active. Uh, well, I have to get them down to forty percent and then use the orb. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put up the. So there's the fight we did with the named. Hey, I did a right. ninety three billion hit. It has been reformed! Yay! Wow! I got to say, oh, holy crap! You gotta do how many of those? Five? Four? Uh, let me check. Use the Vrarusan on another weekend. Stuck okay, well, next to these guys, let's pull this group out real quick and kill them. Okay, so let's move over here. Then one of the other guys you need to kill is going to be over here. Or you need an orb is over here. Arrow. Yeah, extreme yoga. I got my pet not attacking right now. He'll only attack like when he gets... Well, he's not even attacking when he takes damage. Pull him back more, he's still in the, the black, I think. There you go. Because while they're in the black, they take, like, almost no damage. Here's one. Whoa! <laughs> what? It went from zero, like I can only use it after they get below 40%. And it went from 100 to 40% instantly. That's what I was like, geez. So let me see what happened. Oh, I did 122 billion in one shot. Overachiever. That's my new best. 109 was my new best. Okay, everybody, you saw it. 122, 122.9, almost 123 billion in one shot. Here's another one you need. Does it say I need another one? How many of these fucking things do I have to do? I think it's either four or five. I think I had to do four. One hundred and twenty-two billion. Whoa! My pet's done a hit. The highest hit I've done so far was my pet did one hit. 
for 140 billion. And that was back before I had the parser going on. Okay, does it say, does it tell you to still do more? Uh, yeah, on a fourth week. Okay, there's another one over here. That's Dominator. No, that's the group. Okay. No, oh, there he is right there. Where? In the one, the one I just targeted? Yep. I thought he was a group. I'm using my absorb magic and it seems like once I've done that they take their damage goes down super fast. I mean not their damage, their health goes down super fast. I think I did all the ones I could find. I went all the way around in a circle and did them all. Now I need a fifth. What the fuck? Right here, there's one right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, you might want to check that one. That one was. Oh, up. yep. We're gonna we're gonna check that one. I gotta wait for it to pop up. Uh, and then back up a little. Desolator's walking towards us. Um, I'm waiting for a second. Waiting for it to pop up. Okay, so. Uh. I don't know if that was the last one or not. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, that was the last one. How the hell am I doing more damage when you're pull shotting these fucking things? You're doing a higher average because I'm doing like I do more at one time, but then you're still you're still chugging along, and I'm busy waving my hand around casting another one. Finger right. waggler. Work them much. Get them out of the black. Won't kill them until they die from it. All right. So, so we can keep doing this, or you can just take on Mr. Desolator and deal with those guys when we when we're in them. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll clear these turds out. Be careful, Desolator's right there. I see. Oh, I'm a tank. I don't know how to pull. That's what I expect. Yeah, yeah tank. Your paladin. Stuff. There's a difference. Incoming. Incoming stop. Oh, good. The kitten's going to sleep. Thank goodness. Now I can actually play the game. Psych! <laughs> he said as a kitten jumped on his cranium. Punks, don't be resisting my, my freaking nukes. When you run through the where the lightning's at, you get hit by lightning da or yeah, it's like lightning damage crash crashes down on you or something. Uh, there's one over there. There's one right here. Are these things over here? What? Like no. are these guys respawning or is this just a no? It, we went when we came in. See the bridge we came in on is right behind you. When we came in, we went to the right, so we didn't we didn't see this part. There's a bunch of spots. See, there's another spot right over here with them in the middle. Right here. God, I feel like I'm on, like, turbo when we're not fighting. Where'd you go? I'm over here killing a group. Oh. Well, I guess I'll just pull these guys in. Ow. Apparently this was their 25,135th uh, high school reunion, and I just came in and killed them. How nice of you. They're like, man, you have an aged uh, day. Crap, here. crap, 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 crap. My pet AoE'd, and I got, I got killed. Oh, my God. Well, it's because it pulled all the little non-aggro guys right behind us, too. Oh, here, let's see if I can survive. Oh, did they attack you too? Oh, they came straight to me. I wish I would have done that in the beginning. I'd still be oh, alive. Oh, look at that. I'd I still be alive. the whole thing. <laughs> Stop wearing a dress. It's not a dress, it's a robe. Oh, look at that. 
It's a super rare celestial conjurer only robe. I'm going to the transfer. <laughs> Um, I'm over here. Oh, there you go. Let's like say you're running the wrong way. Hold on a sec. We'll pay for res. We'll stream for res. Oh, yeah. I bet that'd be teabagging me. Mmm, feels so good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mmm. <laughs> Quality concept. I don't know if I want to come back to life now. Yep. Sniff. Can I get a can I get a one of those showers you have to take a nuke plants now? <laughs> so Steve, what made you come up with the name Kitty Cha Cha? You know, I didn't put down how long I should uh, we'll let the, the pet be named that either. I'm thinking I'm just going to let the pet stay that named name until uh, somebody else uses the name. I think that might be all of them, Tommy. I think now we just got to kill the guy. So uh, so remember, what you got to you got to watch him while he's fighting, and whatever whatever portal he takes, you have to go through that portal. If you don't. Then you die. If you go through the wrong one, then you die. So, wait—is that him or is that another group? That's another group. We got a group right here. Oh, listening to your children, you came up with that name. <laughs> All right, so now so where's this asshole at? He's he he just wanders around in this area, so we just got to figure out where he's at. Um, I don't see him. He's probably like fuck yeah, and then he saw me take out those three groups of heroics. He's like, oh fuck. No, he was probably sneaking up on me, like, oh, this guy's gonna be easy to kill, and then the trash killed me. And he's and he's like, I'm not even gonna waste my manicure. Where the heck is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, fuck. Hold on. What? <laughs> so, my sister ended up testing negative for COVID. That's good. Uh, Daniel just tested positive. What? Yep. Did they go to your mom's house or something, or? No. Isn't he a nurse now? Didn't he get his certification he's a nurse now? Yeah. Incoming. Okay, so remember, follow whichever portal he's at. So you want to be near him while he's... Okay, so he just popped up the portals, and he's going through this one. So click on this one. The uh, hell? He does little nukes. Okay, I went oh, to this portal. So go to this portal. Pop in hill. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Oh, going to this portal. Stop moving, let me cast my stuff on you. God dang it, god dang it, god dang it. Well, that was nice. Did you lose, you didn't have your cure arcane up? I didn't know I had to cure the arcane. I didn't either, I just used my potion on it just right now. Oh crap, 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 where is it, use it. Die twice. Come on, come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Woo! Get me out of there, get me out of there, get me out of there. <laughs> I don't have a way to res. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. I think I can res you. Hold on. Um, Where's your corpse? Oh, and it's an exquisite chest. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, I see you. 
Hold on, I have... Ow, I have the... Veteran's Revival, I think I can use it on you. Cool. Oh, no, I don't have it on me. No, I do. Wow, that takes a long time to cast. Wow, really, Steve? You see what Steve said in the chat there, Tommy? No. Where he lives is turned into a major hotspot for COVID. He thinks they have the highest infection percentage in the state. You can pull the chest out. You can summon it, too, you know. Or at least I open the damn thing. All right. All right. You, you, can, you yeah. can have that. Oh, the spirit. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I think. Did I get that already? I think I already have that. Let me check. What's his name? Tatris? Sacred Spirit. I don't have that one. Me neither. I'll let you, you can take it. This was yours, so you can take it. And one final thing, baby. She, she, She's shiny. Shiny. Oh. I already got it. Oh, me too. Seventy-three percent, Steve. Holy smokes! But I do believe this is the mount that you go to the bazaar and. <laughs> Trade in for 30 tokens and makes it like super overpowered. Your count your county only has seventy two thousand people in it? I think my little town alone has thirty thousand people. Was that all you needed for this one? Oh let's see. Yeah. Keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. What uh yeah, I need to return to Nexat. Return to Nutsack? That too. It'd probably be easier to get uh, to gate back to gate back to the guild hall and then take the Eddie Wizard to uh, the Nexus. Rather than flying through the two zones and everything. I think the next one you got to do is... Uh, when you actually have to go into the next zone, I think it's to see the Valshir one at the end, which to me was disappointingly easy. But that's me. That's just me talking. I was talking about your singing voice earlier, Steve. Or at least your screaming voice, I should say. You have to go to the Nexus or in this town? No, it's I believe it's the two Achievians out in the Shade oh, Weaver. Over here. You gotta go up this ramp. Yeah. Uh, Take a left. No, that's not what I was saying. I was saying your singing voice was insane. I was saying your screaming voice anyway. Now the first one, ticket one. And how jealous I've always been of that voice. And I was talking about how you sing like a, a foot behind the microphone because of how often people were slam dancing and you got popped in the mouth with the microphone. And you've actually done gigs where your mouth was bleeding before. So, if you got to talk to the Akivians, it'd be fastest to fly on this thing. Oh, I forgot you can fly now. Yeah. I see a flashing butt, so. You see a flashing butt? That, too. Bum, 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 bum. I like to say, holy crap! A, sc <laughs> a screeching pterodactyl? Yeah, that's exactly what it was. S 
Steve had the skills to pay the bills. Word. And I don't mean the football team. God damn you, Jim Kelly. Undeadly shade chains in the cravat between yep. shade weaver thicket and needles fine beach. Come over here. It's just the things flying in the middle of this giant giant butt crack over here. Yes, I've had many, many a busted lip in my youth from Mike smashing into my face. Yep. Yep. I, I was talking about Lamore House. Blackie's been a fan of beating ass since nineteen ninety six. I was talking about it how... It is his uh, duty to please that booty. I can go on for days. But see all these things, not, Tommy? These are the things you do. He goes, that's not a pudding pot. Shit. <laughs> um, Whoa! There's one. Let's go over here. Yep. And let's piss that off. And piss this off. I was talking about how in Lemoore, we were on the ground. You know it'd be awesome if one of the fucking lore and legend parts actually dropped I need the claw. What do you need? Uh, I'm done with this because I'm not a fucking scrub. Okay. <laughs> I still need the claw. It's the only part I need. I have a hunka. A hunka hunka burning pox claw. <laughs> what the do you need to? Do you get ah uh, crap? Are you fighting right now? <laughs> yeah. I went Jesus to Jesus Christ. I went this to one has This one has like a fuck ton of hit points. I'm hitting it with everything. I went to fly and I jumped and you were attacking something so I can't get my mount. And so I just dropped. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I'm going to die." No. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Steve. Oh, I can't send my pet. I was going to send my pet over to help you, but you were too far away. Oh. My pet's passport's not valid anymore. You ever gonna write a book about your your supermarket fantasy days, Steve? And how you got kicked out of an entire town from performing? <laughs> Are you getting updates when I'm killing stuff over here? Nope, I need two more and I pulled both. Oh. Well, then I guess I really didn't need to pull this one. Hey! Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, speak with Zawan. Who's a Zawan? Zawoma. Like, such... Classic words as tonight. Woman. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> and any street in, in Los Angeles, California. Yesterday. And the any street in Los Angeles, California. Yesterday, while we were playing, um, either I lagged or Tommy lagged. And I came down here, and his character was up here on, by this route, up here, like in a weird looking like he was mid running stuck in this route and i was like what are you doing and he goes i'm just standing here and i turned and he was standing right there and i looked back and he wasn't here anymore i was like what who how sugar to book now, now i have to obtain all the vex runes the what the Vex runes. The Vex rune. Dat, Dax, Lore, Kel, Kalara, Raph, Set, Tack, Bed, Bin. Hold on, let me see what that is. Uh, what is it called? Rain, uh, what's the name of the quest again? Is it Rain of Shadows? Uh, Rain of Shadows, Vexing Chow. All right, so. But here's the thing. If it's that collection quest, I already did it. Hunt six deadly shade fiends. Up, um, hold on. No, these are uh, these are runes you have to get from. Um, two of them are on the ground, I think. No, they're they're just you get them from the people up by Vexthal. 
No matter where you killed the the ones with the little gremlins and everything, you gotta yeah. kill you gotta kill more of those. You gotta kill Akivas and. And yeah. it's just random updates. Yeah. Well, there's some. See, I'll I'll read you what it says. Um, the Dat Room is from. You you kill. Vexthal Stalkers, Pursuers, and Death Stalkers, you'll get the Dat Rune, the Dax Rune, the Lore Rune. The Kel and the Kalara Rune you get from Akiva. The Wrath Rune you get from Gremlings. And the Set Rune and Attack Rune you get from Gremlings. And then the Vet Rune you get from Assassins, and the Ven Rune you get from Assassins. So these guys all up here have stuff over their heads. Yep. So we should be able to figure it out. I just ran around and killed stuff until I didn't see any more... So I don't see anymore. You know, one of my favorite things I have, Steve, that cost me a crap load of money to get is I have a book called Are You Morbid? Are you up here? Did you come up here? Yep. Yet? Okay. I want to be stay close to you because I don't want you to miss any updates that might be happening. Where the heck are you? Oh, you're over there. Um, one of my favorite things I have, Steve, is I have a book called Are You Morbid, which is Thomas Gabriel Fisher, the lead singer uh, and guitarist of Hellhammer slash Celtic Frost slash Apollyon Sun slash Triptychon. It's his book he wrote about his time with Celtic Frost and Hellhammer and everything. And they only did, I think, one... one uh, one run on the book and it sold out really quick I don't think they've ever done a second edition and I I actually bought it I think I spent I think it was 74 bucks and bought the only copy I could find and it's interesting to read and then I've read uh, in the same genre of music I have read the uh, book, two books by Tony Bennett. So Celtic Frost and Tony Bennett. They often shared the stage many times. <laughs> well, okay, you don't need the Vex dolls anymore. You don't need the assassins anymore. You know, two of my favorite books I've read recently, one was called uh, Gracie, which was a autobiography that um, George, um, George Burns wrote about his wife, Gracie Allen. And the autobiography of um, Louis Armstrong. Satchmo. Satchmo, yep. That guy is truly a life in music. I mean, it's just insane how much music he did. All right. Return to Zawom. Okay. I also read the autobiography of Milton Berle. Holy crap. You think you know Milton Berle? Read his autobiography. Uh oh. Doom Shade's up. An epic. Who? An epic. He's up by Vex Vex Duel. Or where we just were? <laughs> and then I've read a bunch of Groucho Marx books. Cause I am a Marxist of the Groucho sort. One of my favorite things is I have an autographed book of matches from Groucho. And third mix, follow the Shadow Citadel. Alright, so that is not up there, I don't think. I think it's in a different spot. Does it tell you anything about it? Uh... I think it's... I think it was somewhere other than just regular Vexthal. But I could be wrong. Like I said, all I remember from this thing was being very unhappy with how fast it went. That's what she said. Um, all it would take, Steve, is a good PR person. 
For what? For Steve to write a book about his days when he was in Supermarket Fantasy. The hardcore band, yeah. the hardcore band he did before Stand There and Bleed. You could sell it in Visalia. Yeah, Shadow Citadel. All right, let's do it. Oh, this is going to be a lot easier than you think. Oh, I've already finished the quest. I can't do it. Uh. All right, I'll just be uh, waiting out here. When you finish that one, I think, I think you turn something in and then you're done. Really? Yep. And then the signature, she is over. Yeah, because you're doing the against all odds right now, right? Yep. Yep. Once you've done that one, I, I think. No, yeah. I'm doing. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, doing against against all, all odds. odds. Yeah, against all odds. Yeah. So once you're done with that one, you're done with the signature. That's the last one in the signature. If anybody wants to see how it's done, I did it on a on a earlier stream. I'm gonna AFK for a second. So Tommy, keep talking while you're doing stuff. All right. But cheats. You. So here I am. Oh, by my, I'm low key. I'm kind of nervous. Not really. So how are you guys on this beautiful New Year's Eve? Good. Good talk. Um, let's see here. <laughs> I finally get to see my baby girl at 10 Hot Raw after all these years. What the? These things die in one shot. I thought this was... Mm, come on. What the crap? Okay, to Tenhara, there is no map. This will be fun. Yeah, there's been a few times, Steve. Uh, oh God, what was it? Yesterday, we segued into a, a plug for your stream. I can't remember exactly what John was talking about. And I just said something. And all of a sudden, it was like the perfect transition. When he goes back, maybe he could tell you. It was fantastic. It's like, speaking of which... This is silly. I'm basically just running through mobs. Like, I'm not even stopping to fight. It's just flat. What are you talking about, pretty good PR guy? Uh, what was it yesterday when me and you were talking and it just we segued right into a, a sponsorship for Steve's channel? <laughs> I don't remember. You remember it was just something. All of a sudden, it was like, speaking of which, I was like, and I just said something. You're like, oh, yeah, no fantasy. By no, the way, he's streaming I, tonight, folks. And I think you you said you started doing Strong Bad. And I was like, oh, by the way, Steve's fantasy tonight. Strong Bad. Yeah, it was something like that. I was like, oh, by the way. Go watch Steve's fantasy. He's streaming tonight. Nah. <laughs> well, you're not going to need me for this, so I'm going to go back to the guild hall. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I've like, I'm literally, I'm not stopping running. I'm just running through mobs. Like, I'm not even stopping to fight. It's just 
Yeah. That's pretty much how it is. Do you want me to read the walkthrough for you? The walkthrough mm -hmm. is watch watch Glassella Bolas' stream from a few days ago and do what he did. Uh, okay. It says enter it Vex, like a lot of work. Enter Vex style Shadow Citadel by clicking on the portal. You did that already. Slay mm -hmm. slay rag <laughs> in the Tower of Conscious. Find the blue beam of shadow and step into it to get the clinging shadows buff off. Oh no, you click on the blue the blue beam of shadow and you get the clinging shadows buff. But instead of running through the clean rooms, you use the teleporter. And it puts you through with that buff on. And then you click on the door and use the teleporter. So instead of running through those rooms that takes the clinging shadows buff off of you, you use the teleporters. You like go in, clear the mobs, run back, get the buff. You can use a teleporter to get past it because you can't target on the mob, the boss mobs, unless you have the clinging darkness. I think you are terrible at directions. You know that. I'm just reading what it says. Enter Vexal Shadow Citadel, slay a rag of in a tower of conscious, find the blue beam of shadow, step into it to get the clinging shadows buff, use the teleporter. Click on the door, use the teleporter, slay in fortress. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's, I thought that was I thought that was longer than that. That sucks. <laughs> that's fan fucking fantastic, Steve. Thank you, Steve. That was perfect. <laughs> that's what it looked like when I did it. Because I didn't read the walkthrough, I just ran around and did that. Um so for the main part is if you look at the map you'll have like a spot you start and then like two rooms off to the side and then so i just killed the rag you just killed and, and he didn't have a chest no shiny no none of them do ah. i think maybe the last one might but i doubt it this is a crooked ship But it's mainly you get the you have to get the shade buff, the clinging shadows buff, and then not go through the two clean rooms. You gotta use the teleporters and open doors and whatnot. And then kill the names with that buff on. But anytime you lose the buff you just run back to the the blue beam, the the beam in the floor. Because the teleporter must be unlocked to function. Yeah, you so what's your map look like? Is it like one room? And then it splits off into two rooms, and then those two rooms split off into the one room. My map is a EQ2 map. Sorry, there is no map for this zone yet, okay. but you can help create one. So your map is pretty much, just imagine it being like an egg. Your first. Well, there's this room with like the three swirly thingies, and the fell pass of symmetry. God, I wish I could be in there with you. Um, a weekend whisperling... Yeah, all you need to do is like the, the first room you pop up in, you'll see the blue shard thing that's coming out of the the, the ceiling. It looks like a it looks like a giant crystal kind of fell path of artistry, and, and it's it, just like a room with like these swirling spirits. So yeah, you, you want to you want to not go into the room with the spirits in it because when you go in there if you have the clinging shadows buff they will pull the buff off of you all right shadows cling to you but your connection with the spirits won't let it saturate which is perfect so that means you have the buff so now you don't want to go through either one of the rooms on the side so is is there a teleporter in that room that you have that on now can you click on that teleporter and will it does it port you somewhere uh, there's a teleporter. The only teleporters I know are the ones like closer to the zone in. Um, like I have to backtrack. Let me give you a waypoint. Type in uh, forward slash waypoint, and then the first teleporter is at negative one o two, negative three thirty. Negative three and then thirty. Yeah, negative 102, comma, negative 3, comma, 30. That Ew. was perfect timing, Steve. I need to. Re I actually need to take some time and make some sound clips. I just haven't done it. It's. I 
I stream for like six or seven hours at a time, and when I'm done, I'm like, okay, bath time, dinner time. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> but like I was saying earlier, Steve's page now is so, uh, when you watch him stream, All right. Yeah, what is now what is that from, Steve? What is that sound bite from that does the follow now? Oh wait, you said that was you, isn't it? What'd you say, Tommy? Words. So does that put Slayer Enforcers Shahaha ho 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 in front of you? Shahahau or something? Ram a lamb and ding dong. What? It says use a teleporter and then click on the door. And then use another teleporter, and then you should have Enforcer Sha'ahau. Sha yep, he's right here. Yep, so you kill him. So everybody watching, this is, uh, this is the Vexthal entrance right here. Those are some mobs. It's weird. There's like all kinds of mobs in this room that you cannot target. Yep, the, and you're going to be really disappointed with the last fight. Trust me. I'm flying over to take a look at this epic everybody's killing. Why don't you join the raid? Uh, I've never seen this epic. I want to see what it looks like. What, Doomshade? The gigantic... It used to be an elemental. Um... He is... He is a giant uh, specter. He's a giant specter? Specter, yep. What the fuck? He was an elemental. I don't think I, I don't think I can attack him because I think... Well, Steve, your voice is very, very, uh, can I attack this guy? Oh, yeah. Your voice, Steve, is very unique. Especially your singing voice. Like I said, it makes me very, very jealous. Moist! So I'm not gonna get any anything for killing this guy, but I doubt I'm doing any damage, but I'm just theoretically helping. I am so confused. I'm standing off from behind the groups and I'm just I sent my pet in to attack and I'm just throwing some no. nukage. No, this instance has me confused I'm like the mic. Oh, okay, so after you've done that one, hold on, this guy's this guy's getting down into the red. So after you've done that one, you find another blue beam of shadow. Yep. Click on that. Use the teleporter at negative 120, negative 290. Well, for some reason, I have it, and I'm still going down. Giggity. Giggity. And then once you use that teleporter, then you speak with Aten Hara. Oh, what? What? Is this not ten hot raw? That's a ten hot raw, yep. What? And you gotta talk to her, and then you gotta fight her. Man, she used to be way more naked and like five times taller. And... Where's shit, all the shit, 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 I died. <laughs> I died. Wait a second. She's level 129. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, uh, why is she not fighting? 
you gotta talk to her first, and then she becomes attackable, and then you go to attack her. No, like, I'm doing all that. Like, she's standing, there's, like, not even any, uh, graphics for combat. Yeah. Oh, I actually got something for uh, for Doom dying because I was I actually did some damage, I guess. Crap! Perfect. I don't have my mount. Look at you! You actually raided. Ah! Oh, I did have my mount. I just had something on me. Nope. Nope. Not a single stinking shiny. Yep, and nothing drops. And the Tenhara was very, very close. Yep, and very easy to kill, too. Return to Alcabor's projection. Is that in Val Valshir. It's in Valshir. Mm. So how much damage did I do in this fight? Uh, oh crap, that was one before. Um, hold on, let me find... So, let me... I, sorry, Steve, I had, I had my chat down for a second. <laughs> you wanted to be a voice actor? I think you told me that before. Of course, my parents told me people can't make money playing video games either. Yeah, look now. <laughs> Left us back in 94 when me and my wife started a web design business, ran for 22 years, made good money, still host some old clients, but it went down when my wife got sick of that. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I was, I did, uh, there's the Doomshade one. So this is the damage I did with Doomshade. Holy crap, Egypt did a mana burn. Oh, that's only 811 million. I didn't even make the top of the list. But I was I got there when it was already in the orange, so. Um How much damage did I do? Where am I? Holy crap! I was the only one who had a long name. My name and my pet's name was like the the two longest. There was another guy named Nevitz Dead Toys. <laughs> I did, I only did 9 million damage. Whereas Doomshade did 12 billion. And, and Dinda did 2 billion, 493 million. Whew, man, that's a lot of damage. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Alright, now I'm going back to the guild hall. Oh yeah, I was talking about Chuck E. Cheese earlier, and... Lethal worked at a Chuck E. Cheese in uh, New Mexico. When Steve was here and in, in lived in the Visalia area, he did. He was a tech at the Visalia and also Fresno, which is an hour away. And then once he moved up to Washington, weren't you still doing two in Washington, Steve? Oh, I didn't know you had Bakersfield, too. I remember, didn't I go up and see you once, like, for lunch or something in Fresno? Steve's an overachiever. That's all we need to say. He excels at everything he does. What did I get for killing that guy? Or helping kill that guy? Currency. Congrats, Tommy. You finished it. Yeah. It's currency. Yeah. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. 
what was it called? It was called Restored Imperial Quintessence. Oh, that's bullshit. I have two of them. What? I only got us to level 165. What? Holy crap, you did. <laughs> wow. You had five locations in Washington? Holy crap. Lethal was saying they had like a big band set up in theirs. Yeah, I was saying how it used to be showbiz until um, you guys bought them out. What the heck was that? I was surprised to find out that all those robots were pneumatic. I think I were. Wasn't that what you were saying, Steve? They were, they were all run on pneumatics. Not old medics, the pneumatics. The old joke. I never got this before, Tommy. Look, I got an Essence of Chaos. I got that from my Overseer. Rare Harvested Component. What'd you get? Essence of Chaos. Oh, I've gotten... Fuck, shit. I think that's I the have, first one I've gotten. I have 21 of those bastards. That's the first one I've gotten. Because you suck. Sucks of uh, truckload. Shrez Vashes. Do I have that? Like one? a Hoover Dam. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! I just closed it. I had it open and I just closed it. Yep, he broke it. Each robot was pneumatic with twenty-two to thirty movements. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Was it like that in the other spot, Steve? What did I just say? Shaz what? Shrez Vashes. Do I already have that one? I guess I could just click it and see if it'll add it. But... Yep, I think that's number 22. Yep, that's number 22. I have 22 of the Overseer people now, Tommy. Nice. And I bet I can't do any more. I bet you I'm done for the day. Let's see. I only did one round, and I think that's it. Cat, what are you doing to my freaking slippers? I can feel you on my feet. Yep, I've hit the maximum for the day already. Well, thus concludes last signature line. Now, that was weird. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Over that way. There you go. Uh... Lethal, you worked at AOL? My wife still has an AOL email address. Hmm. I remember AOL. I still have a quadrillion of those frickin' CDs from back in the day. What do I have an email for? Him? <laughs> Hello, my friend. The Far Street Traders say you can deliver this letter for me. I hope it reaches you. It seems like a long time since you last came to visit. I am still studying... The harvest you brought me before, but I need your help again. Please come and visit when you can. It's very important. Your friend. Hello. I don't know what that's from. Hmm. Oh, I forgot I had a collection of journal. Huh. 
<laughs> That's uh, the sound you you heard was from Tommy's. There's a Tommy's uh, Discord he uses. Oh, it's just thing it is on his cell phone because he can't get his headphone to work on his computer. And then mine is from a headphone. So every now I and bought an expensive ass headset and the problem is is like the the antenna part that you talk into. Like it doesn't fold or bend, so it's like fucking eight inches away. And for some reason when it like picks up sound, like I literally have to be screaming. I used it whenever uh I was playing EverQuest one and all that crap. And people are like, We can't hear you. <laughs> so I'm constantly like using one hand to like force a microphone up to my mouth to talk. <laughs> you see what Steve said? No. All all stiff like a porn star. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, wait a minute, I have stuff that's not for sale. What the heck? Oh, I gotta remember to fix that. <sighs> Either North would be jealous about how stiff my headset is. Are you buying little blue pills for your headset? No, believe it or not. Got a lot to say. <laughs> oh, let's see. Well, the good thing is, is now I can do the trade skill. Oh, you know what? I just started that already. I got to You know what? I'm gonna go work on that. Oh, no worries, lethal. That's what she said. Force it in my mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> He's like, oh, that's not I'm like, that's right. Do you know where the trade skill starts, Tommy? Because when I got there, it wasn't up. I just clicked on the person's name, and it started the quest. It didn't. Yep, have to... that's no. That's our very first when the um, when the expansion went live, and I'm like, I'm in, and you're still playing Minecraft. <laughs> and you were logging out, log, uh, you logged out of Minecraft, logged in, whatever. By the time you logged in, I already ended up accidentally getting the trade skill quest. Mm. Like, right. I got the quest. I did the first step. I made the stuff. I went into the zone, but then I couldn't do anything because I wasn't level 120 yet. Hmm. I had a funny story that started with, with that quote and went to evil superpowers I will have to tell you about sometime. <laughs> now you're going to make me wonder. Um, do you remember where the zone was you had to go to, Tommy? How far did you get? Did you just get the quest, or did you start it, actually? I was on No, it's, uh, what's it? It's called, fuck. You gotta go to Echo Cavern, the regular Echo, Echo Caverns, and then go down where Undertaker spawned, and it's the doors behind there. Echo, Echo, Echo. Yeah, my wife still has AOL. I have the Hotmail address on mine still. I loved Hotmail because it was, for me, it was an awesome idea because I kept moving houses all the time and it was great for musicians because you could check your email from any computer in the world pretty much. But then they did away with that and now I have, uh, what do you call it? Um, Outlook, and I have to check it from one computer. I actually had my email set up to my phone. I think it is set up to my phone now. But I can't send emails from my phone. I can look at my emails. And while I was in, uh, when I was working in Towns Pass and Death Valley two years ago, when I was talking with Via Nocturnus about getting the album set up, um, I tried to return an email to them. I typed it out on my phone and sent it from my phone. And when I got home, I checked my emails again, and I had an email from Peter, and it said, how nice, you've sent me an empty email. 
and I looked and what my phone had sent, everything I had typed in, it didn't send any of that. It just sent an empty email. So then I replied to him. I was like, oh, well, this is what I meant to say. And uh, the layout's looking like this and I'll get it to you and within the next week and blah, blah, blah. And no, I didn't actually type blah, blah, blah. You should have heard me. What? Day before yesterday, I had to go in and fix the scanner for my wife so she could scan some work papers into her laptop. Oh, man, I was getting frustrated. I was cursing like a sailor. Okay, so are they up? Oh, oh, I don't have it up. Let me... There it is. Okay. So I got to this part when I was starting to do this, and I couldn't finish it because you got to be level 120 to use these things, and I was only level 111. Thirty whole seconds. I have a Gmail one, but that's mainly for my phone. That's what my phone account's hooked up to. <laughs> Actually, back when uh, when we were doing MySpace, remember those days, Steve? Um, when I was doing MySpace, for every uh, MySpace page I opened for my music, I had to have a different email address. And so, I had to have a bunch of, I had to have a bunch of ones up. The Standard and Bleed page is still up. I think the Evil Charm Aegisus page is still up too. <sighs> oh, uh, 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 oh, I died. If you want something fun to do, I mean, you get a decent thing from it. Uh, I finished a collection quest today. It took quite a long time, but apparently the pieces to get it Where are you? You think it's broken, Steve? Did you ever listen to those two links I sent you, Tommy? No, not yet. Of course. Um, do you have the collection quest Creatures of Lukeland? It's level 120, and it's going to be alphabetical, so. Sort of by level, you dingus. I'm sorting by alphabetical. Creatures of Lukeland. Yep. I've got one, two, three, four, five of those. All right, you can easily, well, not easily, but easily get all of those. Um, it's basically you kill random mobs that give you an item that you uh, that you examine, and then it gives you, like, an idea of where to kill. You have to kill, like, 20 of each. Go on EQ2, just Google EQ2 Creatures of the Lukeland uh, Collection Quest. I had fun doing it, personally. Well, yeah, but you're weird. And it's all the three... No, but it's all the three zones, like Racklands, uh, Blinding, and Aurelian Coast. But you'll pick up something off a mob in the water in Aurelian Coast, and it's like, okay, to solve this, you need to kill 20 Thought Feeders in the Racklands. You're like, what the fuck? Oh, that's all those little... Yeah, I've got a bunch of those. Matter of fact, I, had, I think I took a, these things here. Oops. 
Yeah, but they're so random. Some of them are rare as shit. And if I go on the uh, broker and you just look how much one of those things are. I had a bunch of them. They're the things that drop when you're just killing random stuff. Yeah, but like the turtle shell goes for 400k. The thought war tendrils 600k because getting those quest pieces, some like the teggy fingers, like 600 plat, but to get some of these quest starters is a pain in the fucking ass. What? There's still pics of me on there? There did what to who? I'm looking, Steve said on the Center and Bleed MySpace page. There's still pics of me in there. <laughs> oh yeah, there I am in my red shirt. There's Ballistic Brad, the guy who took my place. Not a whole lot of pictures, Steve. Oh, there's a picture behind Fresno. I don't remember what her name was. She was uh, our street team in Fresno, wasn't she, Steve? And isn't that... Isn't that a picture of us playing there? Was that in Lindsay? Or was that the stage in Fresno? Nina, yeah. Wow, you guys had almost 1,700 followers. That was Fresno on stage? Down to the end of each channel. Can they see me if I invis? Oh, not that. Stop. Invis me, not the mob. Yep, they can still see me. Down to the end of each tunnel. So I don't think I have enough to do that. Yeah, Steve, that's all it took was me leaving the band, and then all of a sudden, everything took off. <laughs> I had a lot of fun in that band. That was a lot of fun. Whoa, that guy just... But, but he didn't... And then... And then... Oh, my God. Okay, let's go do what you were talking about. <laughs> I'm going to have to remake all that stuff, because I keep dying in that cave. Like you do. I do quite a bit. Uh, let me look. Back to the guild hall. Oh god, I love AMP. I remember, was it you and Joey would do AMP and me and... Me and Keone would do, uh... <coughs> Me and Keone would do Gatorade. Meth. <laughs> Why doesn't uh, Tom ever stream? I don't know. Ask Steve. He did. He had. He was streaming for a while. I say Tom's funny as fuck. He needs to be like on. I fell in love with him the day he was fawning over himself in the mirror at that concert. That's one. That was Lamore. Yeah, he was like, "God, I look good," and I was like, "That's my friend right there." Yeah. <laughs> no, that was. I told that story on here before about how I know how when we were setting up and I was super nervous, and then here's Keone sitting behind his drum set, talking into the microphone. 
I'm gonna like playing so, here, Steve. And Steve's like, why? You don't need the mask of honeys. Because I can, because I can stare with this mirror behind me. I can stare at my voluptuous ass. And I remember just turning around, looking at him. I was all nervous. I turn around, and look at him. I'm like, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to try and do this other quest over here because the trade skill one, I'm going to have to redo a bunch of trade skilling, so I'll probably um, I'll be trade skilling you, tonight. If you well. do the EQ2, like, uh, best thing that I did is whatever materials are, like, tier 13 or 14, whatever, I buy 800 of each. That's what I did. And then I buy, like, a th it's weird sometimes, like, I did... Uh, have you done the mischief one yet? Oh, I guess not. The what mischief? What? 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 what, what? There's a mischief uh, trade skill quest line in Cobalt Scar. No, there was two trade skill ones that were up when I was in the Great Divide too. There was one was in the town and one was out of the town. Yeah, and uh, the first step of that one required seven, just one combined was 750 celestial charcoal i was like jesus wow Christ. yep so i buy like 800 of every material i need like 10 of every rare and then i'll just buy more often than not you need charcoal more than anything else so i'll buy like 2000 charcoal and like 500 of everything else okay steve but, but um i think it is the mischief no Hold on. God damn it. Which one did you just complete? Trade skill wise, I did a Myris Library and Plane of Magic. So did you get your own version of like the Glass Yalabolus' Planar Adventures? Yeah, that's right here. Yeah, did you read what it does? It gives me my own fuel merchant? Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's been a lifesaver a few times. I've been like, God damn, I gotta fly all the way back to Wait, no, I don't. Wow, the reuse time is one hour and 12 minutes? Jeez. Yeah, but she's up for like five minutes, so just buy a bunch of shite. I don't want shite. Oh, it's not the rumor going around town. Oh, my. Go on, go, go. All right, so sand grabbers. Let's go kill some sand grabbers, Every everybody. time I see Glassy, he just finished eating a bunch of Reese's peanut butter cups, and he's licking the chocolate off his finger. Uh, that's not a Reese. I don't want to know what you're talking about. Mm, but you do know you're playing Dom. <laughs> what are these? Are these guys the sand? Yeah, these guys are the sand guys. Hey, come here. I need to kill you. Uh, hey, you over there with the hair. Yeah. Yes, you giant living elemental. You have hair. Do you have hair? Oh. Um, I hate that when I see something in front of me and I target it and I start to send my pet and then it says my pet may not attack because when I was running towards it and I tab targeted to target it, it targeted the collectible or the harvestable in front of it. You said target like 17 times. You'd be a great spokesperson for that store. I work there. I would not be a spokesperson for that store. You worked at Target? You didn't know I worked at Target? Yeah, I worked at Target. When the fuck did you work at Target? Seriously, like, when the fuck? I know my sister worked there. Uh... Um, I worked at Target from 1990 to 1992. Oh, fuck, I was like, what? nine years old i was working at when i first graduated i graduated six months early from high school and then i went straight into the workforce washing dishes at oh wait yeah across the street from carl's jr yep and oh that's when you dated the twin that's where i met her yeah that I, was I, such a weird thing i remember growing up and i'm like me i'm like she's not metal not even close um, I was working at I worked at Sizzler and then I left Sizzler and I went to work at the Alpine station washing dishes okay and, I uh, vaguely remember that and while I was working at Alpine station Dory and one of her friends came in 
and she was working at Target, and she said, hey, I think you need to come work at Target. They're looking for somebody in the snack bar. And I had hair down to my pants at the time, and I was like, I don't know. So I went in and put an application in, and then Dory came to my work uh, a few weeks later, and she goes, hey, Target's going to call you because they're going to hire you. So act surprised when they call you. And I was like, okay. So they didn't make me cut my hair. I just I would put it in a ponytail and fold it in half and put it up under my hat. And I, that's, mm-hmm. that's how I got hired at Target. I worked at the snack bar, and then I went from the snack bar to the sales floor, from the sales floor to the push crew, which was the receiving crew in the morning. No, to the pool crew, which was the team that worked during the day that would pull stuff out of the back and fill shelves. And then I went from the pool team to the push team, which was the receiving crew in the morning. And then that's when I was fired because I was going to school in Clovis at night. And I was getting like three hours of sleep a day because... I would get up, I have to be at work at four in the morning. So I drive from Grandma Wessel's house, which is like seven miles north of Visalia, into Visalia, work from four in the morning until noon, go to mom and dad's house, take a shower, get dad's truck, drive to Fresno an hour away, do tutor electronics math students, do my two classes, drive people home in Fresno, drive back to Visalia, drop off dad's truck, pick up my broken down Beamer, drive it seven miles outside of town to where I was staying at Grandma Wessels and then go to sleep at one in the morning to be up at like 3.30 so I could go back to work at four in the morning. See, I question your dedication. And I kept showing up like five, ten minutes late so they fired me. And it was funny because the guy who fired me, Ruben, got fired like a month or two later. Um, For the same shit. Because he was walking through... railing coast okay uh, because he was walking through uh the offices in the back at target and as he was walking through the offices cocaine fell from his pants what a, ba- a bag of cocaine fell out of his pants so uh he uh that almost sounds like a fucking setup well i when i was working with him he was always sniffing and i thought he was just because we got to work in the cold in the morning and it was just his nose sniffing kind of thing but nope it was okay I, before I do this I need to look and see which ones I have so I know what I now see I do. don't question his dedication because he was willing to do cocaine to do a good job yep well that was him alright so alright let's see here I think I where the fuck did that go uh Okay, so I have... To me, one of the hardest things is you loot an item, then you're going through your bags, and you're like, I know exactly what the fuck it looks like. Where did it go? I have the Galorian Toe? What the heck? Okay, so that's from... Lightcrawlers. Don't have to attack those. Oh, that's not good. But... I sent my epic Merc, or my Overseer, my... Favorite one. 30% chance of success with 1% success chance of failure, and he failed. Now I have to like save him, or else he's gone in six hours. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so I got that. Okay, I don't have that. So that is from non aggro rock hoppers. Okay. What? Non aggro rock hoppers? There are non aggro rock hoppers? Yes. Uh, non aggro what? Rock hoppers? Yeah. Yeah, those are up by the spire where you zone in. Like half the zone is aggro and the other half of the zone is not aggro. Oh, okay. You learn something new every day. Yep, I was just reading that. I was like, not aggro, and I was looking at the one in front of me. I'm like, you need that's, to get educated, asshole. That's aggro. That's not non aggro. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? That'd be no fun. Michael 
did you hear uh, Michael this morning, Tommy? Oh man, my house smells so good right now. <laughs> what is it? I can say what? I said, did you hear what Michael was saying this morning? No. So I started like a half hour late on my stream because I was talking to Michael on Discord about stuff that we're not going to talk about on stream. <laughs> and he mentioned that he had sent a petition because he spent another two hours this morning trying yep. to get that last. Yeah, I, I knew that. Uh, so he's, if there's anything else, I sure don't know. About he it. sent a petition about it. So once I started the stream, then he popped back on and he goes, oh, I got an email back. From his petition, Same he got an answer back, and he—they said, um, because he was afraid he might have looted it before, and then not knowing what it was for, might have just deleted it. Yeah. So what they say? They said you have not, within the last 30 days, ever had it. <laughs> so, um, so it's working as intended, and then it said, but just check your backpack anyway, because we just gave it to you. Oh, jeez. So after like six hours worth of searching for it, he, they just gave it to him after he petitioned about it. Ah. Should have made him sweat a little more. Yeah. Participation trophy. Ah. I mean, I, I, it took me two hours to get it. Two or three hours, I think. It took me literally like two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it took you five minutes to do your epic. We all know. Uh, it took at least seven. Uh. Whoops. I didn't want to kill the geode. I wanted to kill the rock hopper. <laughs> Missed target. I wonder if Steve had to run to the store because he had to get a... He had to buy something to shave his beard with. All his razors are probably all rusted and no good anymore. I mean, it has been six years since he shaved his beard. The named up? Uh, nope, he's dead. I don't want to jinx it or anything, but at least my migraine has not come back. Your migraines what? not come back I still have this feeling like it feels like it's just sitting right behind my right eye just waiting to start again it feels like if I turn the wrong way or something it's gonna kick right back up but I think that's the way I always feel when I'm talking to you so mm -hmm. don't you forget it <clears throat> Wow, that thing is scary. I tell you, quit looking at your reflection in the monitor. No, this guy just crafted this. So it can be bought. God damn it. Shadow Scream Wanda Force? Actually, it's a visionary. I'm trying to link it and it won't. I've, it's linked. I see it. I'm looking at it. No, the visionary. Oh. It's 2,915 primary stats. Jesus. So that's player made, so yeah. This Mastercrafted Legendary is... What? Oh man, I need to mend. <laughs> I need to mend my mend my broken heart. Oh I wait, I forgot I died I don't think so I much. I have one anymore. 
I forgot I died so much. My all my stuff's down to twenty percent. I went to look and see what my my staff was, and it everything's orange. I'm like, I'm not mentoring anymore. Oh my god, everything's at twenty percent. <laughs> Yeah, so Michael was telling me about that. He said they just put it in his backpack. But they did use the working as intended line. I thought that was hilarious. <clears throat> Fly on a bug. Just normal day. Where's the mender over here? I forgot. What do you got here? Fair enough. That's it. Oh, man. My house smells so good. It's tamale day today. My wife, her sister, and her mom are in the kitchen making tamales. Get into that kitchen and make me some tamales. Rattled in pots and pots and pans doesn't really work. And... Well, that's what they're doing. I can't tell if they're making any yeah. noise because I'm in here, but nothing. But man, I tell you, it's making me so freaking hungry. Huh? It's is making tamales. Yeah, yeah, just the smell of the house is making me hungry. Yeah. And now I hear Brendan, and now I want Taco Bell. <laughs> All right. Happy New Year, John. Happy New Year, Brendan. Hopefully 2021 is better than 2020. I don't know, man. Legal drinking age for the 2000s. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so maybe Brennan will see the new year. Maybe he won't. He might be passed out instead. Where the heck is the mender? Where's what? The mender. He's going to be in the last pyramid I'm looking at. Never fails. Yep, I think he's in here. The crafting area. Usually the menders are in the crafting areas. Mending and reforging. Right there. It's going to cost me 91 gold. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was the Wanda Force. <laughs> so the Wanda Force is a 2767. And... Uh, Thing I'm mean, that's a two-hander. The two-hander I was using, I think I put in the bank, but it was a twenty-seven something. <clears throat> but a celestial. Oh, what was? What'd you call it, Tommy? It wasn't celestial. What'd you call it? So back up to the top, back to killing these things. Santos is live again. All right, down we go. Oh, he's not okay. Down we go. So now, do you feel like you're more accomplished because you finished the signature quest? Uh, I'll feel more accomplished once I finish the trade skill. Yep, I need to finish that. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, well, you did anyway, so. Now I feel bad. And I'm three times as hungry. <laughs> oh, like 
There's so much shit I'm lost on, like adornments and stuff like that, and I haven't reforged anything. I don't know what the hard caps are, the soft caps. I don't even want to begin to talk about reforging. Oh, you know what? I did check. We were looking the other day, and my crit bonus is blue now. It's 8,298%. It's blue, and it says I have reached the cap for that stat. Uh, it says my spells and abilities will crit 8,298% harder in PvE combat and 8,298% in PvP combat. Base melee crit 130%, base spell crit 150%, base heal crit 130%, base taunt crit 150%. But that one's blue compared to everything else being green or white. Hmm. And I haven't even... Oh, my account's over 6,000 days now. I might... I haven't even... Um, even wanted to consider reforging anything yet because... Once I get into that, then it's like going down the rabbit hole. I don't even know what fervor's for... I don't know what difference ability modifier makes. All that fun shit, and it's like when I was in the raiding guild with Michael, they had to yeah. tell me what I needed to up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing like right now that 129 billion crit on a spell is the highest crit I've done. 140 billion on my pet is the highest I've done. Do I really need to get any higher than that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So there's the gray flesh. Where'd I put the other one? I just had the other one. Where'd I put it? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so there's the gray, there's the first one, and there's the gray flesh one, which is. Okay, so... Um, where's the next blinding one? The Glorian Toe, I've already got. Pearl Manifest, I've already got. Piranha Scales, don't have Piranha Scales. Drops from non-aggro Thought Horrors, where I am standing right next to, so... Let's kill one or two thousand of those, shall we? These potions right here? Lethal? Yeah, I got a lot of potions. These up here, I think I got one an expansion. That uh, heals the caster for 15% of his health. That heals mana for 10% of the mana. No, that increases mana. Uh, these are power potions, they increase power. This is my Arcane Remedy. It dispels 129 levels of Arcane. Uh, this dispels 129 Elemental. This dispels 100 129 Noxious. This dispels 129 of Physical. Those I think I got with an expansion. One sec. Um, and then all these potions down here are all from Overseers. Void Pieces, Elemental Reprieve, uh, Void Piercers, and Veil Walkers. I got those all from Overseer uh, chests. All right, so now I need to kill Void Walkers. So there's one there. Not Void Walkers. What I say? What's a Void Walkers? <clears throat> Thought Horrors. Yeah. Void Walkers. Thirty Horrors. It's because I never use them, Lethal. I never have to use them. I just had to use them in the one with Tommy. But otherwise, I've never had to use them.
Um, these over here, these are, um, these are petamorphs. These are petamorphs for my pet. So when I was doing the Christmas thing, I was using the chocolatey ninja bread and the crispy ninja bread. Um, and then all these down here, these are, uh, with the new year coming up, I'm going to start using one of these a week. These are Knights of the Dead, uh, illusions for me. So, like, I can be the rabid werewolf. I could be the mummy. So, I'm going to use one of those a week because they're, they're until canceled. So, I wasn't going to do it during Christmas because I was in the Christmas getup. And then now I'm not going to do it yet because I like this, this plague doctor look I got going. But I was using all these petamorphs on my pet. And then I was talking about how Plane Shift was making him not turn into the giant two-faced uh, statue anymore because it gave him that illusion and then when I hadn't cast the pet illusion on him, the petamorph on him yet and I clicked paint, plane shift, then he became that giant creature again. I was like, oh so if I want to if I want him to become that giant two-faced um, the giant two-faced uh, creature statue while he's got plane shift on, I can't have any other illusion on him but I just hate the way he looks with... That's what he looks like without an illusion. He's a giant three-eyed mushroom. I think he looks like a doofus. Like, a oh, heel, a oh, heel. Hey. Hey, guys, what you doing? A oh, heel, a oh, heel. Oh, we sure got a bird in my house. Come here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, there we go, there's that one. Uh, yeah. It's easy for you to say. Alright, so now I'll go back to here. It's easy for you to felch. <laughs> Let's see what else I got in my bags. These down here are all illusions. Um, I use this one a lot, the Tellurian Talonite. Talonite Defender, and it makes me the giant woman. Um, these are all illusions. These are all illusions. These are all illusions. These are all illusions. That's the first one I ever got, the Combined Emblem of the Awakened. That was an easy one to get. These are all my status. Uh, of status, what do you call those? Like the relics and the... I think it's safe to say there's over 1,300 collections now. Yeah, that, do you use the one like this, the Mystic Muppet Billy? That one makes you tiny. My gnome, uh, I have a gnome guardian named Massive Meat Shield, and he uses a Mystic Muppet Billy. So he's already a gnome, and then he uses the Mystic Muppet and becomes even shorter, but his name is Massive Meat Shield. He's level 120. These are all status. I have them going from the, the lowest level to the higher levels. So they're kind of going in order. I always keep one in here so that they will always pop up over here instead of popping into the regular bag. These are all the potions. These are all uh, quest things I got going on right now. And then these are all heirloom things. These are all things I can sell. And then I put the collectibles over here. Plus I'll put the Lorne Legends over here. And then all these backpacks. Oh, I can't do it. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Um, all these bags, our contents are not for sale. Only this bag. Like I said, I do them backwards. So this bag is here, and then this bag is here. So only the first bag will you be able to sell anything to a vendor. So. That's just how weird I am, I guess. Okay, so that's the blinding, the blinding. The rich, rich so there's cast. no way we could do, like, duo heroic Sanctus Seru, is there? Dun, dun. I don't know. Sanctus Seru is, the ones we couldn't do was in Mur Murris Library, right? Yeah. 
And then Sanctus Heru came out after Marist Library, so I don't mm. think so. Why? What are you looking for? Uh, there's all kinds of collectibles that I need out of the heroic instances. Meteoric Remnant. What is a Meteoric Remnant? Meteoric Remnant. Do you kill things called Meteoric Remnants? Yes. Where are they at? Oh, there's a they <laughs> are... You, you just type in Meteoric on the map, and they're like the little... They look like shards. Like a... I don't know, a group of shards. Do you remember where they were? Yeah, right. You type in Meteoric in the map. What is it? Meteoric what? Uh, meteoric remnant. I spelled, uh, I spelled meteor wrong. There we go. Hit enter. That's a meteoric golem. Yeah, they're right there. Okay. Oh, that's just right down from where I'm at. Yep. Well, that's easy. It's easy for you to Wee! Mama, I'm coming home. Jesus Christ. What's wrong? There's so many fucking things I gotta get. Sounds like gold little bit of And so I need remnants of those things. Okay. And these guys aren't aggro. Yeah, all right. So. I'm trying to get all the ones that are in the blinding first. And then, uh... And then go to the zones that the stuff I need from those quests are at. So I'm picking up all the quests in the blinding and then going to the other zones. To finish those quests... I didn't drop a chest. I was hoping he dropped a chest. No. Why am I so far to close to the ground? I'm out of the water. Oop. What? I noticed that there's times when I'll like target something and I'll send my pet to go kill it. And it'll tell me you may not send your pet to kill that target or whatever. Um, I can understand that because it means that either I can't see it or he can't see it or it's too far away. But there's times when I'll send him to kill something and it'll say... Um, see, it'll pop up this little thing you send your pet in for the attack. It'll say it and my pet won't move at all. And then I'll have to send my pet again, and then it'll be like, and then it'll take off. I was like, well, I already sent him. Why do I have to send him again? So why didn't you listen to that stuff I sent you, Tommy? Huh? <laughs> Tulian just went live. How much longer are you gonna be streaming for? At least twenty-two hours. Uh what how am I at now? I am at four and a half, so probably like another hour, hour and a half. Alright, I'm gonna AFK for a little bit. Okay, that's fine. And no, I'm not taking a nap. Yeah, whatever, you old man. <laughs> you will not deny me the rest of my fiber. <laughs> hey, 
Anyhow. Yeah, but I'll be back. Okay. All right. And thanks for nothing. You yeah. freeloading piece of shit. <laughs> Uh, the thanks I get. I work and I slave. I'm so used to playing this game without the sh the without the shadows on that it's weird when I see a shadow. Like when I was flying up to those that remnant, I was like, "What the hell's under?" Oh, it's a shadow. <laughs> And I hate it when they die in the water because then I can't see if they drop the chest or not. It doesn't seem like it was that long ago when I was coming through here doing all these quests. Having to the mine all those guys. Well, that's just regular stuff. But... Come on. Up? Oh, did I? I passed the shiny. That's weird. That's odd for me, isn't it? <laughs> There's a shiny right there. I think I've got most of the ones from this zone. Well, I really can't say that because I don't know how many there are in the zone, but... Never pass up a shiny. I don't like how these metal veins look like shinies. Because their tops are yellow and it looks like a shiny from from a distance. Because that's a that's a metal vein, that's a metal harvest harvestable. <laughs> Come one, come all. The blinding prismatic depths public quest po portal has opened within rescue tour. This guy's aggro? No. You think they're aggro if you get in the water. What if I killed all the remnants at the moment? I think I have. Oh, there's one. Come here, you! Now yeah, you got me double checking everywhere as I'm running. <laughs> Don't want to go over that way because there's heroics over there. Get away from the water. I want to see if there's a chest that drops. Ah, oh, come on, drop me a chest already.
Where's the shiny? Not what I need, but there's a shiny. So to mind Barbie you? just went live. Yeah, Tommy just left. He just had to go do something. Just left. So what are you doing right now? Oh, uh, right now just sitting and reading news. Like what? The last uh, McGuire sister passed away. Oh, the McGuire sisters? That sucks. Yep. How old was she? Like 90 something? 100 and something? Get back to it because I just closed it. She had to be up in the hundreds. No, she wasn't that old. Oh, I'm thinking Andrew's Maybe sisters. McGuire's sister. I was thinking Andrew's sisters. I was like, didn't she sing, Pardon Me Boy, is that the Chattanooga Choo Choo? No, that's Andrew's sisters. The ones that sang with Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby, Ming Crosby on my, one of my favorite Christmas CDs was Andrew's sisters. They did a swinging version of Jingle Bells. Jingle bells, j jingle bells. I better not sing that, I'll get a copyright strike. Yeah. Chop me a freaking thing already! Oh, are you having problems? Nope, just uh, I'm doing a quest Tommy pointed out to me. It's a collections quest. But to get the collection pieces for it, you have to finish other little quests, and so that's what I'm doing now. Is you got to get the pieces off of different mobs. So I'm killing mobs, trying to get the little quest starters, and then I got to go kill other mobs and mobity mob mob mob. You and your mob killing. Pretty much. Dun -dun. It was funny. Um, I went. I was watching Steve. I don't remember what day it was this week. And he went to do a raid, and we popped up on the other guy's channel. And as soon as we do a raid and I pop up on somebody's channel, I instantly follow them. And the guy was like, Thank you, um, Glad, 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 Okay, I'm gonna get this. Glad, Glad, And I was like, Just call me Glassy. <laughs> like I said, couldn't make a name under 27 letters, could ya? Well, that's why they called Ginu when I was doing, when I was a guide. One of the other guides that got on on the front of I server with me one day was just like, hey, it's G Ginun, G G uh, and he started typing it like three or four different times. And then he just finally said, hey, it's G plus 12. And I was like, G plus 12, what's that? And he goes, well, that's your name, G plus 12 other letters. And I was like, well, technically it's G plus 11, but we'll go with G plus 12. So then everybody just started calling me G12. Hey, whatever actually makes it work. So that's why I tell people, Glassy, just call me, or Glass Alabolus, just call me Glassy. And Ginu, just call me G12. So I can tell which one of these I've finished because I just look here and it shows me the ones I've already got, so. Once I get this one, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, once you get that one. Just keep dreaming. I'll drop in the water. 
too late. I don't know why my mercenary is saying they cast something on to drop it to one hit point when I'm killing it in one shot. <laughs> so it's dying before you can even cast. Were you on earlier, Dud, when I got a new higher highest hit for Glassy? Or, not for Glassy? No, because I was on until... There we go, there it is. You and Tommy started working on the area that was one hitting you. Yeah, that was... We didn't even need to fight those guys. You wouldn't kill the named up in the rafters, and when you killed that named in the rafters, the epics down below went non-aggro. Um... The highest, the highest hit I've done so far since in this new expansion is uh, 109 billion in one hit, and the highest the pet's done is 140 billion in one hit. I was in one of the zones with Tommy, and I did 129, 129.97 billion in one hit on a spell I cast. So that's my new highest, highest damage that Glassy's done. Yeah, I mailed it. He's trying to be a show off. Didn't so you? I don't need to do any more of those. What the heck? Oh, it's just saying Divine Barbie's gone live. Okay, so that is that one. A Rishi cap. Spectral Substance, do I have that yet? No. Okay, Spectral Substance drops from a Fjord, Shadow Spreen. A Four Road, Shadow Spreen. It's gotta be one of these around here or something, because that's not one I'm um, familiar with. Those are Zedrix. Or is that a fish? in there oh there's the things back at the zone in okay now I'll probably be faster to go this way <coughs> I already got it come on So we got to go back up to the zone in to the blinding and the screen or the things flying around the zone in I think so you get a click on the insect and say I want to go back to Grig Spire now take me up to the zone in I thought it was going to take me into the insect cave, which is all heroic. And I was like, oh, no. Nah. There's a quest you have to do in the... Uh, I don't remember if it's part of the signature quest or not, but you have to go into those caves and you have to go into them with... Uh, they give you a illusion that only lasts for a few minutes. And you have to go into that cave and run all the way to the back and do something in the back. And if you, they, 
they did it in a way that for somebody like me is very hard to do because the whole time you're running in there with that illusion on there's shinies all over the stinking floor and if you stop and get them then by the time you're running back out your illusion is worn off and the heroics one shot you and kill you pretty much so Why when do I feel that you take that particular uh you take that particular risk well because the first when i did the quest i stopped and was collecting all the shinies and then when i was coming on the way out it wore off before i could get out of the cave and so i was destroyed in that cave but then i realized well the reason there were so many shinies is just for that reason so so you'll not be able to get out on time it's like a temptation thing. Oh crap, fly. Oh, that's a small chest right there. That's gonna be <laughs> a spot where I can't get it. That's one time where I'm glad they actually did that. They put the summon chest thing in. Okay, so that was for that, the spectral substance. So is there any more in the blinding I gotta look at? Uh, Racklands, 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 Aurelian Coast, Aurelian Coast, up. Oh, Greater Entangler. So for this one, the turtle shell. Is a greater entangler. I spelled that wrong. Uh, e n t a n g l e r. Okay, so nobody's put it up on the map yet. All right, we'll just go find it. All right. And we're off. This is the last expansion, the blinding. This is not the one that just came out. The one that just came out is the Nexus. Nexus Shade Weaver ticket. Um, Savage Weir, Echo Caverns. The town of Shadow ha Shadow Haven. And the Bazaar. So this is the expansion right before that. You need to find a greater entangler. I have to find it without tracking. I think, it's, I think it's gonna be over here. I think it might be the giant centipedes, but we'll find out. Name's not up over here. This took long enough to freaking pop up. Let's go look and see if he's up here. If he's not up here, he might be in the water. There's an epic that roams over here. He's not up, is he? Yep, there's an epic over here. That's just a light crawler. I want to see. Oh, there's the epic. Ancient light crawler. Level 128, epic times three. Not gonna solo that today. <coughs> oh, there's a greater entangler. I think they are the 
Octopuses, I'm guessing. I think I would remember that because I had to do. Yep, there's the octopuses. Because one of the quests I had to do, I had to come down here and kill these guys. And they're not always up. So I was just killing everything until one of them would spawn. And the, the hard, the well, tricky thing you gotta remember too when you're killing stuff in the water, that if you're looking for a chest that drops, you gotta check the bottom of the seafloor. Cause it'll die. See where its height's at right now? It'll die there. So it'll die here, but any chest it had will be on the seafloor usually. That doesn't mean it'll always do that, but... And they always want to check where you are standing too, because sometimes you'll kill something from like back here, and when it dies, the chest won't just drop where it died, it'll drop where you're standing. Yeah, and there'll be sometimes when your pets run off to kill something, and you'll still be standing there, and then poof, all of a sudden you have chest sitting dead square in front of you. In my experience, when my pet runs off to attack something that I'm not attacking, it's usually because it aggroed on me and I ran out of range or something, but usually it means I'll know what's going on when half the zone is running at me because my pet aggroed everything on the way back. No, your pet wouldn't do anything like that. No, I wouldn't say that. Well, at least there's a bunch of entanglers up. That helps. You know what I've been watching a lot lately, Dud, for some reason? What? Uh, not the video, but a live video of Utopia singing Feet Don't Fail Me Now. Okay, you just clipped all the health trying to tell me. It's because uh, the uh, mob died at the same time. I said the uh, watching I've been watching a lot of not the actual video but a live video of Utopia's feet don't fail me now come on drop me a chest already and I said I was also happy that that there's uh, a lot of octopuses up right now too so. but I remember the video for that song remember it being really corny oh yeah but then I watched the live version I, could, I love how well they, they harmonize and so I watched the live video and I didn't realize that it wasn't Todd Rundgren the lead singer doing the vocals he sings on the harmonizing parts, but the keyboardist is the one doing the lead vocals. And when you're watching a live one, and Todd Rundgren's doing all the spiel before you actually get into the song, he's talking about this new single coming out. And it's gonna. It, I just saw one. Where's it? That involves their new uh, lead vocalist, who was the keyboard player. And it's a corny, cheesy little song, but for some reason, I just love the harmonies to it and everything. And it is so not black metal. Now why would he? Say that? Can't believe none of those dropped it. so selfish I'm just coming out here 
spending time killing octopuses. Not a single one of them is dropping what I need to get into the other zone. So once I've killed, I get the thing off of these guys, then I can go into the Aurelian coast and finish off whatever I gotta finish off to uh, get these, the ones I've already started done, and then I'll start killing other things to get their quest for the other stuff, so. I got a feeling it's going to be a lot of running back and forth to the zones. Stinking Merc. Oh, I had to just jinx it by saying there was a whole bunch of octopuses up, didn't I? Yeah. Octopuses are selfish. They're shellfish. Yep. They're shellfish, but they're such such big slackers that they don't even don't even grow the shell. See, like just right now, I'm just sitting here, and when I stop talking, all of a sudden in my head, I just get the "Can't you see?" Oh, come on! And besides, that video was done back in classic MTV, so all the videos were somewhat corny. Yeah, and since they were all dressed up in those little bug outfits, I couldn't tell it wasn't Todd Rundgren doing the vocals. That is pretty cool, I mean, that he had other people singing. I mean, the entire band is singing on that album, so, I mean, on that song, because you have Todd, the bass player, and the drummer all singing the harmonies, and then you have the keyboardist doing the lead vocals. So. I thought it was funny when Steve was uh, talking to me about being in his band. One of the questions was, do you want to sing? <laughs> I was like, uh, no. <laughs> and he goes, good, because we've been having an issue with bass players who want to sing. So we want a bass player who doesn't want to sing. I was like, well, that's me. <laughs> well, that's me kind of. I'm a bass player slash guitarist slash drummer slash keyboardist slash whatever slash composer uh, who doesn't want to sing. So I'm fine with that. Slash mandolinist slash harmonicist. <laughs> Well, I still gotta. I'm no good with a harmonica yet, but there's another one. I still gotta tune the, the mandolin too. I keep saying I'm gonna take it out and tune it, and then I get sidetracked by what I'm doing. I know, it's hard to believe I get sidetracked. It's like all safe. Do you have my stream up? What? Do you have just the volume on on the stream? Uh, no, what I have is you on my headphones. Oh, I was gonna put. I was gonna say. Now I can see the screen. I was gonna say. I am. I am gonna. I keep telling myself I'm going to tune the mandolin, and then a few moments later, I still haven't tuned it. <laughs> Smack. I'm playing one of the game, one of the really cheap games that I saw on Steam. What game? It's called Force of Nature. Sometimes the really cheap games are the funnest ones. He sat there and was talking, and he goes, sometimes I get myself sidetracked and I need to tune the mandolin, and then he played the thing a few minutes later. He still hasn't done it. That's uh, Tom Kenny, the voice of, of SpongeBob, doing it during one of the SpongeBob episodes. 
I should have. I wish I would have found the one that said a few years later. There's another one. Come here, a you. Few, a few millennia later. I didn't realize there's some voices Tom Kenny has done. Because when you hear him in Sponge, SpongeBob, and then you hear the Ice King and Adventure Time, and you're like, yeah, that's Tom Kenny. I can tell his voice. But I didn't realize he did the voice on the Powerpuff Girls that he was the announcer. He did that, that heroic announcer type, and now, you know, like the old Justice League kind yeah. of announcing. That's Tom Kenny. That's SpongeBob. I didn't realize that was him until I was watching Twisted Tunes on YouTube. Because I love watching Twisted Tunes, and watched him in one of the one of the script reads they did, and they had him as the voice of the narrator from from Powerpuff Girls, and I was or yeah, Powerpuff Girls, Powerpuff Girls, and I was like, that was Tom. <laughs> Come on, Dad, burn it. I'm just yeah. swimming in I the water. I got Force of Nature, Grim Dawn, Age of in Empires 1. You know who was and really into Age of Empires? Michael was really into Age of Empires, I think. Age of Empires Definitive Edition. The Betrayal Collection, which is Krondor and Antara. And then Metro 2033. Metro 2033, what's up? It's a... Okay, it's after... The world pretty much nuked itself. Moscow... The people that were in the Metro line... Pretty much... Stayed hidden in the Metro line... And since... Radiation pretty much created... Uh, monsters and all that you're trying to keep the people that survived alive and help ex uh, exterminate the monsters that are trying to get into the metro line it was based off of <laughs> It was based off the book of the that same That's never going to get old. And there is three different... There's 2033, Last Light, <laughs> and Exodus that, they've crea that they have created. <laughs> I don't feel like Leroy Jenkins. I'm not running into anything. I'm just swimming around waiting for the octopus to drop the freaking thing so I can do the quest. <laughs> Although sometimes my mercenary freaking Leroy Jenkins all over everywhere. <laughs> A Shane, nineteen seventy four. Come on, drop me something already. You know what I'm thinking is I probably killed one, and the the small chest probably dropped to the floor. But I was so far up in the water that I didn't see it. It didn't draw it, and I took off and didn't get it. That's my guess. So that's why I keep swimming to the all the way to the seafloor now when I kill these guys. Nope, 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 nope. I remember when I had to come down here for the I think I don't think it was a signature, I think it was just regular quest that I was doing in the zone. I seem to remember having to swim around in the water forever before I got the update I was looking for. Did you not get, uh... Oh crap, I forgot the name of this, the stinking game now. Who's attacking what? It's like I was saying, Leroy Jenkins with my freaking... Dungeon Siege wouldn't work, so I got a refund on that. Yeah. No, uh, Stardew Valley or whatever. No. That's pretty cool. It's a fun little game. I was playing it this morning while I was waiting for the public raid in the... Grand, uh, Great Divide. 
Oh, come on. You're a celestial mercenary. You should be able to take care of these things. Well, Beth got her favorite game in the whole universe. <sighs> what is it? So she's at State of Decay 2. Is that a zombie game? Yes, it is. I can tell by the decay. Uh, Either a zombie uh, game or a dentist game. It's not zombie, not. It sounds familiar. I think I've watched somebody play it on YouTube. Well, it's been one of the ones that's usually on the Game Pass. And she sat there and got on it and played the first one and liked it. And then they put the second one on. She got on that and played it and liked it even more. And she's like, it's on sale. Can I get it? And I looked at her and kind of went, yeah, go ahead. Are you so friends with me on Steam? On Steam? I, uh, hold on a second. Ah, crap. I lost my Aqua Soul. Switch back to one. Don't cast it on the shark. Cast it on me. There we go. He cast it on the shark. 25 plot. That would work if I was actually on the computer. Or on the... Okay, community friends. Let's see here. Insane Asylum has no friends. I no have no friends. Yeah, I sit there and have both the 2015 and 2018. Uh, car mechanic simulator, but there I changed the guild motto. I don't know if 2018 will work that now since I actually I changed upgraded. the guild motto. Oh, I should change. I should put something else on there too. Now I think about it. I am not currently on EQ2 at the moment. I just put, this is a casual guild, so have fun. There's no required anything other than have fun and be nice to each other. And remember, I may be streaming, so what you say or do may appear on my stream also. And try to... Disclaimer, disclaimer, keep... disclaimer. I didn't get to watch that at all last night. Now I think about it. And try to keep it to where, where we won't get hammered by Twitch for... By alcohol? Comment. Oh. <laughs> by comments or anything like that. I don't think Twitch is hammered down on comments. I think Twitch is hammering down mainly on music, which is why my music, music I've written is playing in the background. But Twitch isn't doing it because they're hammering down on it. Twitch is doing it because they're getting play in trouble. So If you want to sit there and play something uh, as background music but, for your EQ1, put... Uh, Dark Halls of the Mind as the background I, music. I can't. That Why could not? be that could be copywritten also. What come I created on, with on. no vocals. Yeah, but you used with no you used loops. So they could if be. I remember correctly. They could be in somebody was... else's loop. Yeah, but it's free to use. They're not going to charge you for it. But millions of other people also bought that those loops. And so somebody might have it out already on YouTube. And if I put it up on YouTube, if somebody's already got a piece that sounds like that in their song anywhere, like my pro my I'm a Mutam CAG project that is like shoegazing metal, which is really slow, depressive, suicidal sounding metal. I got a copyright strike against it from a mariachi band. And I went in and I played the part I played the part that said this is copyright of this part and what they played sounded like mariachi music and what I was playing 
was not in the same key, was not the same notes, was not the same rhythm, sounded nothing at all like what theirs was, but it was still giving me a copyright strike for it. And so I had to fight against it, and they finally took the copyright strike off like six months later, seven months later. But it had nothing, it didn't sound anything like it. It had nothing, it wasn't the same rhythm. I was, my song was much slower. My song had no tuba in it. My song had no horns in it. There's an entanglement. But I still got a copyright strike because they had something that apparently it thought sounded the same. There's nothing wrong with mariachi music, but it did not sound anything like what I had known. No chest. No chest. So the, I ran into that problem also with one of my Blood Rum songs that had, uh, I think it was Bela Lugosi in it? Where he's going, children of the night, what music they make. And there was a punk band from New York that had that in one of their songs. But they couldn't put it on YouTube because it was getting a copyright strike because mine was up first. So they sent me an email and said, hey, we're trying to get this song up, but we can't because your song has it in. Also, is there any way you could take your song down so we can put our song up? And I was like, sure, I can do that. No problem. So I took that song off of, of YouTube because I have it on my Facebook. And it's, and theirs went up on YouTube, no problem after that. So that's why a lot of the my blood rums are no longer on my YouTube anymore because they got copyright strikes. And then with me putting this one. stuff on there now, I can't have stuff with copyright strikes. There's another one, yay! I'm not gonna spend all day on this. If I can't get this thing to drop soon, I'm just gonna go. Uh, that's pretty sneaky. That looks like a chest. Boo. Alright, that does it. We're just gonna kill everything. I can't get the tree strike. We're gonna kill everything. Kill everything in the world! I'm not gonna kill the turtles, they're not aggro. I mean, turtles can live. I'm so uh, magnanimous. The turtles may live. I think dropping any chest. Oh, there's one. Come on, drop me a chest. No whammies. That's a negative. Punch the shark in the nose. He punched the shark in the nose. 25 plat. Actually, it's not even called a shark. It's called an ancient thrush fin, but it's a shark. Leroy! Jenkins. I swear, Leroy Jenkins always, it makes me think less of WoW and it makes me think more of the GM on EQ1 that went to check on the dragon the guys were going to fight. The raid that they were getting ready to go do and Hit the wrong button and despawned the dragon, which had a six day time respawn timer. And so the GM just huffed it back to the customer service home and then logged out real quick. Didn't happen while I was GMing, but that story was going around the GM forums for a while. I think I may change the, the picture I have for the startup. I may change it to, because right now it's a picture of Glassy at level 70 something standing in front of uh, Nagy. 
I think I may change it to the picture of my guide character who was turned from a gnome into um, in the god Inaruk by the GM. But I didn't become the full-size god Inaruk. I became a gnome-sized god Inaruk. You can't tell my height in the picture, but... I may change it to that because I've talked about it. Let people see the actual picture. Oh, well, come on. Just give me an octopus and drop some chest already. Come on, die already. I think what I might do today when I'm watching Steve shaving his beard tonight, I may do the trade skill quest while I'm doing that, while I'm watching that. Because I know I'm going to have to make a bunch more of the things I already made in the trade. There's one. Because I was doing it wrong while I was there, and I'm going to run out of them before I can finish it. You do something wrong in every quest? Yeah, I know. It's hard to believe. It happens every f every 22 seconds. That's a lot of seconds when you think about it. 16 years. One more, and then if I don't get it, I'll come back later. Give me one more octopus. Oh, I just saw one. I just saw one. I just saw one. Go. Oh, there it is. Alright buddy, you're the last chance. Fizzle, nothing great. Okay. Out of the water. Where well, it's at? nice to know you're still, you're still in form. Well, I'm at the edge of the zone, holy crap. <laughs> I was going to get out and hop on my mount, but I'm at the edge of the zone, I can't get out of the water. So, what was the thing for Steam? The what? The friend thing? Mm -hmm. Um, I just, Steve just added me, uh, or had me friend him on it, um, last night. Let me look. What do I do in trade? Now you got a song stuck in my head. What song is that? I don't know why. I don't know why it popped in my head, but it's in my head now. The Inquisition. Let's begin. The Inquisition. <laughs> Look in. Um, do you have Discord? Can you look at your Discord actual thing? Can you see the, the text in Discord? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is my name in... That's my name on uh, Steam. And if you just go mm -hmm. on to friends, I think you can search, look for that name, and then send me a friend's request. Don't say it out loud. I'm not saying it out loud. I know, but you were thinking it. All right, so now I'm going to. Jiminy Christmas, that guy took forever to kill. It took two seconds, but still. Added. Pop it up. Let me see. You don't have a picture? No, I haven't really done nothing to this thing because okay. I never actually figured I would. Eh. Steam's a good a good place to go and get like some really cool little uh, games and stuff. I mean, I got Civ Five and Civ Six off Steam, so and I've played Civ Five. I think I said the other day I played it for a thousand two hundred and something hours. <laughs> well, I've gotten. Uh... The handsome 
uh, collection from where is it? The Handsome Collection. Ooh. Yeah, Borderlands. The Handsome Collection for free off Epic Game Store and... What? Do you guys see my, my EQ still Epic? running? I just got a bunch of oh. fatal errors for EverQuest. I got three of them. While you're standing on the ground, you landed. It was while I was flying, it gave me three little fatal right. errors. Well, yeah, I moved it over to chatting. Yeah, but see this intro? This one here? That's a picture of on the ground looking up of me standing in front of Nagy. I think I'm going to change that. That was when I was wearing the the head thing I was wearing. Everybody told me it looked like a welder's mask. All right, let's get back on glassy. Come on. I apologize for the delay, everybody. EQ's been doing this quite a bit lately. Okay, so I didn't get the one from the Greater Entangler. But we will go. Rocket League, Shadowrun Collection, Hitman, Borderlands, the Handsome, Handsome Collection, and Civ 6. Borderlands, the, Han the Handsome Jack Collection? Uh-huh. I've gotten all those for free off Epic. That's cool. So I, so I have Civ 6. I have Civ, Civ 6, but I played Civ 5 for so much that Civ 6, I couldn't get into it. I think I played it for maybe two hours. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go back and play 5. So, I normally play Civ 5. That's pretty much what I play. Great, I'm going to log Good in time. just long enough to run to the Raelian Coast and log again. So, come on, stupid thing. But I also sit there and uh, use mods when I'm playing Civ the, 5. The only mods I use in Civ 5, I use other civilizations. I've downloaded some player-made civilizations, but otherwise I don't use any mods. I've done the uh, change to religion to where one of the religions is the religion of gaming. Uh, I've done, I've changed the, oh, what is it? When Welcome you back, Oz. Cult when you build up enough culture, you get a cultural whatever. victory. Not a cultural victory, but you sit there and can pick out of your different styles of government, monarchy, democracy, stuff like that. Oh, the, um, oh crap, what is it called? Um, and that's why I'm having troubles. I can't think of the right name. Um, that's what I, but I got a, I got a different one of those. Well, you can change, you can, when you're playing the game and you discover uh, religion, when you first discover your own religion, you can change the name on it. Yeah. So I changed, I changed, I usually have it up as like King Diamondism, um, Evil, Evilogy or something like that. But I, I played Civ Five for like 1200 hours now. I prefer it over Civ 6 just because I'm not used to Civ 6. I just need to play it more. I need to play it and go figure and it out. Play, so Go back and play Civ 1. Oh, I was going to look at my freaking messages real quick. I'm still here. My phone just went off. I was looking at my messages when EQ crashed on me just now. Did so I get that today? Go back and play your, oh, play your Civ 1. Oh, Sunny posted a picture of the tamales they made to a bunch of people. Okay. 1,497 hours on record. Yeah, I think you play too much. What, is that what I have on Civ? Uh-huh. Yep, like I said, I love the game, so... 
you only have four things on here, or recently played on here. Railroads? Um, well, I've got more than four things in my actual library. The, the last two yeah, or three... Yeah, I'm looking for more things. Ex the last two or three um, expansions here in EQ? You know, let me do this real quick. Let me stand here. Only seven um, hours um, to start um, on Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, I, I downloaded it and just, just started it again, so. Um, da, 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 da. Stop humming the songs, worlds. Jonathan. Two Worlds, what do you think of that one? I didn't play it for very long at all. No, 2.2 hours. Yeah. Okay, so the last three expansions were... Only 20 minutes on Railroad Tycoon 2. Yeah, because I was trying to get Sid Meier's Railroad. I was trying to figure out which one I was on. So, Rain of Shadows is the one that just came out. And that one, to me, Rain of Shadows, was, it's okay. It's got some stuff I like. I don't like the free armor at the beginning. That's twice as good as the armor I had from the last expansion. It, it makes it feel like they're saying, we don't want you to actually play the game. Here's all the stuff you need to get to the higher to get to the end game. Here you go. Um, but I like the fact that there's more stuff. There's they added more zones and all that. Um, the level cap didn't go up, but they did give you two more spells. And then they said they redid the AAs, but I couldn't tell you. I didn't pay enough attention because none of my picked AAs changed in the first two. I thought they were going to change it completely, and I was going to have to put two hundred. AA's back in, but they didn't change any of that, so. Um, and then the expansion before that was Blood of Lucklin, which it, add, it took the level cap to 120. It added the Overseer feature, which I've been playing like crazy. And it added a couple zones. Mm -hmm. That one was, I liked it. Um, blood of Luke. I liked it. I, it added Myris Library and whatnot. I think. Did Plane of Mist come out in the one before that? Chaos Descending. Did that add Plane of Mist? Um, Chaos Descending 15. Elemental Planes, which were weird in Planes of Power. So that added all the, the planes. Did it add the library to you? Yeah, it added the library. So um, I think Chaos Descending was better than Blood of Lucklin. Well, Blood of Lucklin is the one I'm in right now. I think they're... See, to me, my favorite expansion that I've been a part of, that, that I played, was EverQuest 1's when Kunark came out. Because it added a lot of overland zones, and it, it seemed like it really, there was a lot to do, and it extended the game more, in my eyes. Um, these that have come out, they're good. I mean, getting the level cap up to 120 was cool, because it gave you something to go to reach for again. Um, all in all, I like it. Oh, I forgot 16 I... Year, 16 years, you better like it. I mean, all in all, I like it. There's, I have gripes about some of the stuff, but I mean, you got to have gripes about stuff. But I'm glad they're in the game. I'm glad they did it. <laughs> I'm not an in-game raider content and stuff like that, so I can't really complain about that stuff. But because I don't know any of it. But I mean, I'm happy with it. I'm glad it's in the game. I'm glad I did the signature quest for the last game. It seemed like they were putting a lot more into... Yeah, I'm hitting for 129 billion, so yeah. Um, shiny. It seems... See, Ooh, one of the I'm things sure. I was thinking... I was talking about the other day. I don't... You weren't here yet. I have... I've, I've got 32 characters. One of every class, one of every race, except the Valshir. I haven't made the Valshir yet. Um, but I was talking about the stats for 
for this character, this is my main character. I'm a conjurer, so I'm a finger wiggler. And if you look, I'm trying to get somewhere where I can't get attacked. If you look at my Love. stats, uh, I have 329 million hit, 341 million hit points. Yeah, that's never. Doesn't everybody have 32 characters? Um, well, over 16 years, 32 characters isn't as bad. I mean, if I had 32 characters in one year, that'd be bad. Um, 341 million hit points. Almost, just barely under 3 million power on my level 120 Conjurer. And then I went to look at my level 95 um, Illusionist, who was in... <laughs> I went and looked at my level 95 illusionist who was in a raiding guild and he's still decked out in his raid gear from when the level cap was 95. And so the difference between that level 95 raid geared character compared to this level 120 regular geared character, this guy's got 341 million health. The raid gear level 95 has 455,000 health. I've got a, almost 3 million power. That raid guild, raid, raid equipped character at level 95 has something like, I think, 150,000. So, in going 25 levels, you went from 455,000 to 341 million and went from 155,000 to 200. 2.8 million so it seems like instead of just inching it up and inching it up and inching it up the last couple expansions they've gone well let's just double it let's just double it let's just double it so the highest hits I was doing before might have been in the millions and then this is this expansion my pet has done one hit for 140 billion I've done the highest nuke I've done with this character is 129 billion and then a few episodes back, I was one-shotted by an epic, a level 108 epic times four, who hit me for one quadrillion, 377 trillion damage in one shot. What? Well, I'll, I'm going to my Twitch page. I'm gonna, I'll type out the number. I'll show you what the number was. Go to my channel, go to my channel. Oop. Go to my channel, go to my channel. Oop. Oop, shut up, I don't want to hear myself again. <laughs> I want to go to my video. I don't want to see this. Take me to my videos. Take me to my videos. There we go. Um... I forgot when I'm streaming, I can't see my videos. Oh, I guess I could just go to YouTube. Because I, after, I, after I finish streaming here, I upload everything to my YouTube channel. And so in the title of one of these, I actually have the number. There, no, no, I don't have it up. Did I not move it over? Oh no, it's right there. So this is the number right here. I'll type it in here. One quadrillion. Three hundred and seventy-four trillion. Five hundred and seventy-three billion. Ten million four hundred six thousand seven hundred fifty-five damage. That's what I was hit for in one shot. By a gray con. That was one shot. I was level 120. It was a one, level 108 epic times four gray con. I went to attack it, and in one second, it hit me for one quadrillion, 374 trillion, 573 billion, 10 million, 406,755 damage. And I died and was stripped to molecules, pretty much. Crater. You only made played a Fury and a Bruiser. 
I think what I would do a lot of the times, Oz, was I would get into the game, I would start playing, I would get stuck on something, and instead of just going off and doing another quest or something, I would decide, you know what, I wonder what it would be like if I played as a Berserker. And so I would go make a Berserker, and then I'd go back and do all the low-level zones that I knew. Or I would be like, you know what, I haven't played a character in Common Lands in a long time. I'm going to go play a character in the Common Lands. So before they had the Chrono Mages up, where you could just pay some plat and, play, and pay some status to, um, to lower your level down... I would just go make a new character and then go run them through the zones I hadn't been in. So, but now that you can Chrono Mage, I I can just go run the other levels with this character, like I was doing yesterday and today. Mentor down and go finish some quests I hadn't finished in a while. I still have to make one more. I have to make at least one more character because I have to make a Valshir. I. I can't say I have one of every race and one of every class when I don't have a Valshir made yet. So. I don't know what what character that'll be. I don't know what class it'll be. I may hold off until they start another time lock server. And then I may make my character a Valshir so I can say I have one. Because I have a Karen. My Berserker, Col uh, my Berserker Campfire is a Karen. Oh, that's Akiva. I finished Akiva. <clears throat> I got lost in what I was saying there. So, I am going to end my stream in 19 minutes. It'll be... Mm -hmm. I'll, hit, I'll hit the six hour mark, so I'm going to... I got 19 minutes to go. No, 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 19. 19, 19. And then, Steve Fantasy. Don't forget, tonight, Steve Fantasy will be on... Cool, there we go. That one's done. Uh, Steve Fantasy will be on at 8.30 Pacific Time tonight. Uh, playing Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. And then at 10 o'clock, he's going to shave off his beard for the first time in six years. And then scare the, crap out of his scare the crap out of his young children. Who, one has nev never seen him without a beard. And the other one has seen him without a beard, but was so small, she doesn't recall it. Okay, so that was the Akivian one. So what other ones do I have? Dredge Flesh. This one requires me to go and kill Skeletal Drudges. I think those were the ones... Oh, crap! Here we go again. Oh, my stupid mercenary was fighting somebody. I was standing up there, and my mercenaries, for some reason, was not up there with me. I think the skeleton dredges are right over here. This man, I tell you, that epic is always up. This giant epic blob of blob of whatever he is, he's always up. Last time I was over here, he was up, and my pet AOE and pulled him and I ran screaming like a 12 year old girl to get away from him at least the drudges over here yep. here's what they need to put put as an end in monster gelatinous cube gelatinous I have always said gelatinous it's gelatinous my wife takes great pleasure in in correcting me in that you know that jello looking thing yep I tell you, whoever made the skeleton laughing sound at EQ1 probably didn't realize they were making something that was going to last for 20 years. See, there's the epic right there. Mechlemnon? Mechlemnon? Lemon Wedgie? What? I don't know what his name is. I 
That's my brother. He can slaughter any word. Do the Eddie Izzard thing and just start to say the word and then put your hand in front of your mouth and just mumble. And it has such a Yeah, the skeletal laugh is the best cackle in gaming. I made a blood rum song called All Your All Your Bass Are Belong to Us where I went in and got a lot of the sounds from EQ1 and it's a little little techno song with all those sounds going on in the background and the the skeletal cackle one is the one that when I found that sound I was like oh yeah there it is that's got to be in the song and then the sound of the bones when he dies the sound of everything dropping You look for more electric fun stuff I'm sure that guy had to do more songs than just the, just has anybody seen my corpse I told you it was a sad story I think it's funny when he's, he does the, I can't remember the line before it, but then he goes, and all those, those gals I'm chasing, all those gals I've been chasing, um, all our men. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, yep, I actually know some people in the game who were playing as women. As a matter of fact, I think I actually had a female character on the test, on the test server. Her name was Nervous in Icelandic. Nervous, nervous. I just saw that guy was up, so that's why I came to kill him. Sorry, he's not part of the quest I'm doing. I just saw he was up. <laughs> <laughs> My horse was flying underwater. Hop at him! <laughs> Just to dance naked on a mailbox. That's not a sentence I was expecting to say this when I woke up this morning. Your EQ window drops like five seconds after it comes up. That's not good. Is it? It's not the launcher, is it? Is it just the actual EQ, the actual game window drops? Do you know if you're playing it from from a stream? Is it streaming or is it downloaded? Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll show. I'm gonna show you guys. Well, you're gonna see my desktop. There's nothing to hide or anything. But we're gonna go off of EQ for a minute. Okay, when my EQ was having problems, this is what I had to do. So this is my mm -hmm. EQ, EQ2 launcher here. That background is the cover artwork. You have warm. I did for my last album. Um, so on up and on your launcher, mine takes forever to pop up when it first pops up. So on your launcher, you go to uh, advanced. Oh, it's not gonna let me do it because I already have. Let me change it to. Okay, so you go to Advanced Tools. Um, I had to do this one, validate the game assets, validate all of them, and it took all night to do it. But then you have to change the game configuration. I think it is. I don't think I can do it with the game up and running. But I think it's on game configuration. Yeah. Yeah. You have to change it from uh, 
Nope, it's not on that one. Crap, where's it at? Game version? Yeah, you have to click on here on the full download. I turn off your ad block. Um, I had to click on full download, which downloads the entire game instead of streaming it. And then I had to validate the game assets. And once I did that, then the game loaded fine. Because before I would get in the, I would get in the, the uh, launcher, it would start loading the game. It would get to 98 or 99 percent, and then it would just stay at 98 or 99 percent. Just keep loading and keep loading and keep loading and keep loading and never get to the end of it. So, so that's what I had to do to change it. All right. That was back uh, like two months ago when everybody could not get in the game and they were. And right before, right before they launched the expansion, they did one upgrade, and that upgrade screwed almost everybody. They said it was. Um... Oh, cool. They apparently dropped one. They said it was it was something to do with their carrier. So I don't know what it was, but doing that got, I actually had two days I was streaming where I had, I just streamed uh, Minecraft because I couldn't get on EverQuest. <laughs> yeah, it could be the Windows updates. Okay, what do I got left? Well, how much time I got? I got nine minutes. Okay. I'm going to go back to the guild hall then. Didn't pull the epic, so that went good. You haven't logged out, so we still have a chance for failure. Bite me. <laughs> I think it's funny how it waited until I was five and a half hours in before it actually crashed on me this time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be logging out here soon. So um, I'm tomorrow is Friday, so I will be on tomorrow. Noon Pacific, and then on for another five, six, seven hours. I don't know yet. Um, thanks, everybody, for let's watching. See. Let's see how the new year goes. Yep. Um, I'm thankful for everybody who's come to watch. I'm always glad when everybody comes and watches. Um, if you haven't followed, follow. It's free. If you can afford to, um, subscribe. But if not, following is always free. I always follow back. Matter of fact, I think I already had... Darksmire followed did that. Yep. Um, don't forget tonight, Steve Fantasy. He's uh, celebrating his $2,000 uh, donation goal he reached for this year. And then tomorrow he'll be starting off for the next year. So we'll see where he's going to. So um, hopefully I'll see everybody uh, tomorrow. Otherwise, have a good, safe New Year's. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Yeah. Later.